Hello, everyone. Welcome, 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 welcome. I believe, I think I'm right in saying, I think I'm right in saying today is Wednesday, right? Today is definitely Wednesday. Are we Are we on a Wednesday? It feels like a Wednesday. Yesterday, however, was definitely Tuesday. But you know what, though? It's good because yesterday meant we had our first look at East Fife and... To be fair, we've already upset a couple of people, uh, Rogi in particular. Um, one of our mods is already very, very angry, unfortunately. Um, we're all a bit... a bit. We're, we're, we're quite sad that Scott O'Neill is no longer part of the squad. I'm upset. Rogi's took it badly. As you can see in the uh, in the chat already, I've put a... There's a tweet from East Fife FC today saying that there's a supporters club meeting in real life. I don't know if it's because of this. It might be. I'm not sure. Um, but to make it up to everyone, we signed a player called Donald McDonald. So swings and roundabouts, right? Oh, yeah. And we won our first game in charge of East Fife. So let's get down to business, shall we? This is where we are. The Scott O'Neill fan club reporting for duty. Rogi, of course, is in here. Um, this, however, if you weren't in last night, right, this is where we are. This is why Rogi's obviously uh, very upset about Scott O'Neill. And I'm still on the fence. I'm still on the fence about whether I've made the right decision or not. I think I've made the right decision, right? This was a guy we've released from the club. Six foot four. Let's look at the positives. Six foot four. Scottish. 24. Loads of green attributes here. But acceleration of three. Acceleration of three. Pace of four. Balance of four. Uh, positioning. 13 actually is pretty good. Um, marking of 13. Tackling of 14. Leadership of 16. Determination of 13. Concentration of 14. I can, I can, make, I can make a case for him. That's what I was saying, Joe. Play him in the middle of a back three. But then I was like... Would East Fife play a back three? Maybe. I don't know. I've made my decision. I've made my decision. And, uh, and again, I'm not I'm not 100% sure it's the right decision, but looking at looking at the fact that kill-winning Rangers are after him, who are in the West of Scotland Premier League, and uh, and he's, he turned down the chance to move to somebody else. Oh, he's an anchor. See, I thought, is he? can he do defensive work? And everyone was just like, oh, no, he can't even do that either. Um I was a bit, I was a bit, I think there's something there, but I'm, look, I'm willing to be proved wrong, okay? What I will, what I will show you though, what I will show you is some things that we've done that I think are positive, okay? Can we bring him back on trial? It's a good question. I don't think he's going to be too happy with us really, is he? Let's bring him on a four-week trial, see how he gets on over the summer. Right, there you go. That sort of seems to be a, a, a fair thing to do, right? This is what we have done though, Okay? We have signed Donald McDonald, right? Hello, Tomo. Welcome back, my man. I hope you're well. Donald McDonald. <laughs> so good they almost dimmed him twice. Um, he's coming from Dumbarton. Seven and a half thousand pounds. Should point out, by the way, we've got 270 grand to spend in this division. Um, so we have some money. We're only at 264 grand now, but um, we're still probably about three and a half grand in our wage budget as well. So we've still got a bit of money to play around with. Uh, we should have a look at those FPP rules though, before we, uh, IFFP rules before we get done. Um, so this of course is Donald McDonald here. Uh, is this operating HMS piss the league? Hopefully, hopefully George. Can we call him old Donald McDonald? We, yeah, 100% we can. I think he's got a farm. Um, so he's from Kleinbank, he's six foot one, he's 23 years old, he plays as a DLP apparently. Uh, with decent passing, decent positioning. Vision's not the best, I must admit, so maybe not a DLP. But strong leadership, strong determination, good work rate, good first touch. Balance is very good. I think he's a decent little player, to be honest, to get in uh, at this level. I think signing Don McDonough is the key. Everything else could take care of itself now. 100% Lama, 100%. I think that was the first piece of the jigsaw, to be honest, was get him in. Um, other pieces of the jigsaw, which look quite handy, um, is this guy. We got him in from Celtic. He was released by Celtic B. Uh, he played for Air last season, got 10 goals in 34 games in the Championship, was released on a free, and then we've picked him up. We're paying 250 quid a week. He looks pretty handy. 17 for a finishing, 12 for heading, 
14 for balance, 14 for determination, 12 for off the ball, 13 for work rate. I mean, he might be okay to play up front. They reckon he could potentially be a, a Premiership standard player in Scotland. He's already apparently a Championship standard striker, so that's pretty good for us right now. So get him the ball. Hopefully he can get us the goals. Uh, we're calling him the Scottish striker, of course, because he is called Sean Macbeth. So uh, the Scottish striker will play up front. Um, alongside former old favourite. This guy. This guy has come back in. Bailey Cadamartery. That's coming on loan. Uh, going on loan. He's coming on a, on a, on a one-year deal, to be honest. Sorry, 170 grand a week, part-time contract, fringe player. He only wanted a fringe player, so he knows where he stands. Um, but he, we went out to Longford in the Republic of Ireland last season, uh, scored 15 goals in, uh, in 33 games. So he's still scoring. He's still scoring. You know, Strike Force has an average concentration of five. We have slight ADHD problems then up front, do we? That's, that's worrying. Uh, where's our other striker? The fact that I can't even find him would suggest that I've got concentration issues as well, to be honest. It is Stephen McBride. Oh, concentration of four. Oh, dear. I mean, hopefully, hopefully they'll be fine. They just As soon as the ball turns up, they'll just, they'll just hit it, I'm guessing. I'm guessing that's how it works. Composure's good, though. 15 composure. Decision-making's good. Off the ball's good. Finishing's good. Just, yeah, it'll be all right. It'll be all right. Can we show the career, says Fabinho Master? We will we'll show something quite similar uh, as we get through it. We'll do just about those two seconds. Um, we've also signed this guy, Leon Charnley, who we think is going to be a young player, probably 19 years old. He's got the potential to grow. Good good, good enough mentals, good enough physicals. 19 for determination is very good. Work rate, uh, so teamwork off the ball and passing are very high also. We, we looked at what we had and what we didn't have last year. And what we didn't have last year was teamwork, really. So we didn't have players who were playing well for each other. So we're kind of trying to embed that as part of our culture this year. Um, and then this guy as well is another one. Troy Edney has come in again. Free transfer. Decent mentals as well. 14 for decision making. Again, good first touch. 12. Anticipation, aggression. That's what you want in that sort of ball in a midfielder role. Good balance as well, and loads of stamina. Look at that. In porridge eating for days, right? 16, 16 for stamina. That boy is going to be like, he's properly just got his carbs loaded, ready to go. Um, RT, Arteta's army in. Welcome, appreciate the follow. Very kind. What are you feeding these Scottish bairns? Loads of good mentals and physicals. It, it really is, isn't it? But what you've, you've also highlighted there, though, Jord, is that the, the technicals are what's lacking a little bit in some of these players, but hopefully we can we can um, we can you know big that up a little bit um, as we go through. We've got some other players that we're trying to look at. Um, this guy, for example, Liam Bissett. I don't think we'll get him. He's wanted by Notts County and Forest Green, so we probably won't get this boy. Sadly, again, a free transfer uh, from Brecon. He's formerly of Newcastle, so we might be able to to at least have a chat with him. But I can't see that happening um so for being your master what's happened well we can't really show you the full history because it's the way that it's all set out is a bit weird uh, on this timeline itself uh enjoy tony being like every manager ever and not acknowledging the supporters meeting <laughs> what i'm there I've, I've got the supporters meeting you know the problem is i'll be there going hello right sorry about the whole o'neill incident it wasn't meant to happen right um this is what we started so we started off um Way back when, way back when, right at the start with Bambridge Town in Northern Ireland. We had three seasons there, or two and a half seasons there. Then went to Porter Down for a year. Dungannon for about three months, possibly. Linfield for a season, won everything there. Then Ken, we came to Oxford. Uh, had four seasons at Oxford. Then we left and decided to come to East Fife in Scotland because what we're doing is this. British Steel Challenge. Um, where we, of course, are hoping to uh, to get ourselves all these trophies, every single one, um, England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. Um, the supporters meeting is going badly, by the looks of it, on the poll there. Jameson out. Uh, Rogie's managed to vote five times in that one, which is quite impressive, to be honest. Um, yeah, so we won all everything. We won, won the most of our stuff in Northern Ireland, and, of course, we've moved into to the, to the England, where we, we played with Oxford. And, of course, we're now in Scotland. Those yellow... Uh, trophies there, the League One, the Scottish Cup, the Premier Sports Cup and the SPFL Trophy. That's what we're competing for this season. 
Donald McHu. I can't believe it. The fans are already against me. It's, it's just... I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to say. Like, this is horrific. There's uh, one person who's shouting loudly for justice. I think that's myself, to be honest, Rogi. I think I'm the one that's, that's asking for that. Uh, we have data, Hub. Do we have data? Can we get data? Yes, we can. Let's load this back up again. Where's me little... Again, we say all the time, why can't we just have a little thing that just allows you to to load up your uh, your sort of your your previous pick and your previous setting because that would be lovely right okay hang on where is it oh it's not doing them all is it xg match story add that Ah, that last one, isn't it? Right, here we go. So there's the first one. Hope everyone's well, by the way, as well. Uh, let me know how your week's been so far. Let me know if you listened to the Football Manager show today as well. Uh, that dropped this afternoon, or this evening, I think I should say. Sorry, it was a little bit late coming out. We uh, we, we ran a bit close to our our deadline during the uh, during the side of the, the, uh, the record. So it was like, right, need to get it up and out, and then it gets sort of like processed and all that sort of stuff. So it was a tiny bit later than the four o'clock we normally put out there, but sure, it's... Uh, Still come out and looks pretty, listens pretty decent, to be honest. Um, we did a slightly, did a bit of, a, bit of a, special, um, a special version of the Search for a Star, which sort of helped with uh, Aaron's inability to know where places are. So, because obviously he couldn't work out where Kingston was, we've decided to do a, a, a Kingston Anywhere you can have so he's he's basically we're trying to build a team up for anybody who can play from anywhere in Kingston uh, rather than the, uh, the the Kingston upon Hull that we were hoping for he'd be we'd working with the um, with the the Sheffield Wednesday challenge so it actually turned out to be a pretty decent team he came up with so you might want to have a little little look at that and see what there is uh, let's put the pass comparison in there as well because I quite like seeing that I'm missing I'm missing passes attempted where's me passes attempted oh don't go that passes di passing dynamics instead have we right fair enough Fair enough. All right, there you are. That's our that's our data right there. Then. Uh, and where can people listen to that show? They can listen to it, Rogue. I'm glad you. I'm glad you've questioned that. You can find it at this link here as part of Podfollow. Now, I'm terribly sorry, terribly sorry, Rogi, but Scott O'Neill's got a bit of a pissy hump, hasn't he? So. Yeah, he's not happy. He's not happy. Yeah, Ron, there's always there's always a, a an intense stare on everything. That's my that's that's my look. You know, it's, uh, if you can't if you can't look angry, then you know then then why are you here? Um, questions are. I don't I don't really think Barry Hercules should come, but I know he's Mrs. J's incarnation. I don't think he's as I don't think he's even as good as Scott O'Neill. Sadly. I think that aggression is going to get us in trouble. But then I look at this, passing technique, teamwork, vision. Is he somehow, is he somehow the deep line playmaker that we need? <laughs> um, we've got to bring Barry Hercules in. We do, we do. He's an enganch. He is indeed. Ooh, actually, the club are happy. The club are happy to see Baza in there, so... We've now started to get some some midfielders going in. This is what we currently look like in terms of our in terms of our team. By the way, we've gone for a we've gone for a, a standard four four two at this point, but we are, is of course subject to change, and it can definitely change as we go through. I've uh, signed Barry Hercules on an emergency backup just to be an under twenty three advanced playmaker. Smart, smart, Diego Simitoni. <laughs> I love 
love that. I love that. Diego Simitoni. That's that's what it is. That's what it is right here. This is this is what this is it. Let me just quickly, I'm gonna pull this to one side, right? And I'm gonna I'm gonna TikTok this right now. Okay, this this right here, this this is Diego Simitoni. 442, low block. Love it. Love it. Jameson takes the hot seat and implements a 442. The critics never saw it coming. Not a thing. Not a thing, Lama. They were like, oh, wow. What a, what a what a visionary. <laughs> what a visionary. Um, what I might do is I might swap these two around so we've got a little bit more uh, defending done here. And they can go to a ball winner midfielder there. So that should theoretically cover these two who are going to start bombing up and down. Nobody has ever played a 4-4-2 in Scotland, ever. No one ever, ever, ever. Brand new indeed. Uh, oh, Wilco's already on his, already on his 90s food. Let's, let's get some in two seconds then. Issue, of course, with this is I've actually started eating some during the course of the day as well, so... So there's probably a lot less of it than there was. Wagon wheels, everybody? Wagon wheels? Let's go for a little wagon wheel, shall we? You know, no one has ever played 442. Ever, 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 ever. My plan is establish what we've got so far, then look to start building from there. Okay? We need to get a we need to get a scout in, because we haven't got a scout. At the minute, we'll continue that for now though, because we don't really know who we need. Um, there is money, as I say, there is money to spend. So we'll obviously look to do that. We could do with a couple of bits of. Um, I mean, well, we could do with some some quality more than anything, really. We brought we brought midfielders in because we like we we were we were really weak in the central midfield areas. First of all, I've actually made some notes about what you need. And I still, I still think, I still think we might need a striker. And we might need another winger. Probably need another winger. Actually, is that thirty-two-year-old ex-Celtic Ewan Henderson on a free? Let's have a look. Ewan, this one here from Dunfermline. Dunfermline. Think it might well be. Oh wait, no hearts. Is that the guy? Looks like he's um looks like he's got another year left on his contract actually as well, to be honest. Christ alert, Mr. Jameson, my FM has crashed and will not load up. Ooh, right, okay. Therefore, have you um have, have you downloaded any sort of like Additional stuff. There we go. That's you and you and Henderson there, right there. Um, have you downloaded any additional stuff like skins or whatever, Tomo? You might have to, you might have to uninstall and re reinstall. I'm afraid. I mean, that's just weird, isn't it? A day of birth, two thousand. No idea. He went to Kelty Hearts. Figured that was the end of his career at that point. I mean, he's not. He's not a scout either, is he? Four for judge and player ability and judge and player potential. So. Presumably he's uh he's decided to go and work on his badges. Um Bissett has gone to Forest Green, so we've missed out on him sadly. And um and yeah, he looks like a different like a decent player. Nineteen year old target forward. He would have fit quite nicely in this in this side. Andrew Strachan we've missed out on as well. Who again would have been half decent. Verify the files on Steam. That's a good show actually. That is a good show. Jack Hamilton, wide target forward. I'm sort of a, I'm sort of in a in a in a half warehouse as well here, by the way, for thinking, do we just sign we sort of we sort of chatted about it last night a little bit on stream. Do we sort of sign like younger players with the idea of, of thinking these could be the players that lead us through a few divisions? Or do we just go all out and go, right, you know what? We've got a bit of cash. Let's let's sort of throw that around and see if we can get 
out of the division quickly. You know, is that the best way to do it? I think you go for a nice blend, 80% youth, 20% right now quality. That sounds like a decent a decent blend, doesn't it? That sounds all right. We also have a link up with Dundee as well, so there is potential that we can get some some players coming in on loan from Dundee. Bradley Dorrington. Again, looks like he might be okay. Maybe. Good jump in reach. 6-1. Maybe. Finishing. Flair looks okay. Technique looks okay. He hasn't scored goals, though. That's the only concern. That is the concern. Hmm. There's an Uzbekistani striker there. I mean, if it was an Azeri striker, we'd be bringing him straight in, obviously. But yeah, we need to get we need to get some some uh, some knowledge of Scotland. I think to get some players brought in. Rajio says, "Build for the future. This team could take up at least one division, if not two. Oh, it's gonna be like it's gonna be like above above the border, Oxford, isn't it? Much prefer Taj Tajikistan strikers. I tend to go for their full backs more than anything." Um, what league are we in? We're in the uh, e we're in the league, the Cinch League One in Scotland, Yaron. So I don't believe, and we'll double check here, I don't believe that there are restrictions per se. Gabriel Mackay Stephen. He's wanted by Oxford. I mean, we're not going to be able to go zump Oxford, sadly, are we? I'd like to be able to do that, but I can't imagine that we will. 175 grand. He's going to have to be very, very good. George Dobson's going to go to Swansea. He's not going to come to us. No, not at all. Not at all, sadly. Um, is there any restrictions in the league? I don't think so, he says. He says. Basically, what I mean there is I have not looked. Squad must have no more than two players who are on trial. Does that mean we can play trialists during the during the match day? Interesting. Four, so one spot goes up automatically, and then three go into um, into the playoffs. I do remember it from Brecon, but I thought that was in League Two. I didn't realize it was in League One as well. So that's pretty good then if we can do that. That's very very handy. It was your super secret. Don't tell anyone unless they figure it out tactic. Yes, that's true. That was it actually. Um, they can play a maximum of three matches. Yes, as I say, I remember it from 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 the second division. I didn't realise we could do it from 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 the first as well. Uh, or at least I've forgotten. Try all the good players. Yeah, exactly. Work permit rules are fine. Long term loans must end in a valid transfer window. Five domestic players allowed on loan at any one time. Yeah, that's fine. It's the day not the first of March. My prime is expired and Twitch says I can't renew it until March the first. It is the first of March today. Yes. Um happy first of March. Happy St. David's Day, by the way, to any uh, to any of our Welsh contingent. Hope you've had a hope you've had a wonderful day. I'm not sure what you uh, I don't know how you how you celebrate St. David's Day, but I hope it's been hope it's been good. I am celebrating with a wagon wheel. So which in Welsh would just be wheel. I think. Mm -hmm. Calvin McKinnon. That acceleration is not great, is it? I'm shortlisting, but I'm not 100% convinced. Demon Master, again, not not maybe. For me, I'll renew my Prime sub when Twitch agrees it's the 1st of March. No, hey, let let Twitch do what it does, Nigel. It's entirely up to up to them. I'm not I'm not stressed about it. Don't worry about that. You know, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It's not a problem at all. Not a problem at all. Jack Phillipson doesn't look too bad. Alex Ferguson looks fairly decent. Wide playmaker. 
Oh, he's not really got acceleration, has he? At least he's not quite as good as we, uh, we first thought. Scout there. Jack Hamilton. Hmm. We'll work with it. We'll see what we can come up with. But yeah, this is... um. If you sign Alex Ferguson Falker, you can do the whole we signed a legend video in the YouTube video. Look at the clicks. <laughs> yeah. 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 We did the Alex Ferguson challenge and that was basically just signing a player called Alex Ferguson. That's not a bad shout, actually. We could do that. That's 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 probably it, isn't it? That's probably what we do. Okay, so this is the Premier Sports Club. So there's Five teams, six teams, I think, in the group. We uh, won our first match against Peter Head. Now up against Ross County. They've also got a 4-4-2, so... They've obviously been snooping on us because this has never been played before. Is it the Johnston's Paints? It's sort of, I think. Is that right, Rogie? Would you class this as the, the Johnston's Paints? So there's five of us in this group here. Morton, ourselves, Ross County, Montrose, Peter Head... As I say, we won our first match 1-0. Uh, the Carabao with a group stage. There we go. So yes, the League Cup then, sorry. So we are in our third kit of white with green sleeves. Should point out as well, by the way, if you're brand new, East 5 have some absolutely banging kits. There's a... Uh, there's a the home kit is kind of like... It's not orange, but it's like it's a sort of dark yellow and black tartan affair which is just beautiful and then this bright pink away kit which would just say it is disgusting but i mean a lot a lot of people have said it's stunning and then we've got and it's got like east five taxis on the front of the shirt which is just like a really shit sponsor but i think kind of adds to its charm um and then yeah then we've obviously got this this white and, and green away kit um, Ross County presumably are going to expect it to beat us here so the fact that we're 1-0 down isn't that much of a surprise I don't think dump the header from Stephen Presley's kid there is that is that who it is oh okay uh, the Scottish striker's got a uh, has picked up a knock so that's concerning all down the channel. There's the Scottish striker. Oh, oh. was close, mind. He does seem a big lad, Presley, doesn't he? Then again, though, his dad was pretty big. Free kick to East Five. That'll do. There we go. You think about an East Five save, would you? But then the kit changed your mind. It can do that. You know what? I'm not gonna say that it's not a deal breaker but it, it can be there's some saves i've looked at where i went you know what that kit's actually all right let's 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 do this Pasita, for example in indonesia we were very much sold on the kit there's mcbride pulls it back colton oh, too many options and obviously we picked the wrong one yeah we we're very much per uh, picked with the uh the Pasita kit was like oh look at that stunning it's purple and yeah within a year we were sacked so it was like let's not do that again and then here we are, unfortunately. Never do a save with a sky blue and claret kit. We're too common. It can be, it can be. There's a few, I think Coleman Bears, that one that's, I think they kind of have sky blue and claret. They keep popping up as an option for Wales. Good ball in for the Scottish striker at the back post. I'd love to see pink, white, and gold. Yeah, I'll be all right. Even white, black, and gold would look pretty smart. Nice balling. Gets himself up well at the back post there. Decent celebration as well. Pink body, white sleeves, gold trim. That feels very old school MLS. 
obviously not now because they're all like you know ultra 90s um some lovely kids this year east five you're brave well ryan they don't call me tony jameson for nothing well, that's, uh, yeah, that's probably where it ends actually to be honest um yeah we'll take we'll take on some some odd clubs of course we will of course we haven't got an assistant manager as well by the way <laughs> so we should also mention that we're not allowed one uh did we all enjoy the portland tartan kit yes we did yes we did jord there's a couple of interesting things though the fact that yes the kits are all made by the same supplier but there's sort of that i guess in that sense i like the uniformity of it is that a word uniformity um you know that they, you then don't get anyone who's got really shit kits Stephen mcbride with a goal you don't get anyone turning up in fucking warrior or like you know goaler actually you know what no, get goaler i mean east fives are by joma shout out to nashville's johnny cash shirt yes no macron macrons are dreadful 100 percent they are awful kits 2-1 though against ross county this is this is unheard of right this is not what we were expected to do we we're expected to be losing quite badly i think canadian pl has macron as an exclusive manufacturer yeah but when it gets some cash around it's not gonna it's not going to bother with that, is it? Like it's going to get, it's going to get rid of Macron as soon as there's a bit of money. All about the chevrons, would you? I'm, I am with you on that one. Hummel kits, every single day of the week, please. Presley, oh, how has he missed that? How has he missed that? Oof! Unbelievable. That's a huge let off. And this is us just learning about our team at this point. You know, Spencer. Spencer looks a good player, by the way. Colton, great ball down. McBride <laughs> oh, off the post. Okay, we're starting. We've got a little bit of football about ourselves here. You know, it's not as agricultural as we were expecting. Right? Nice little ball down the channel. That was good. The ball at the top's going to cost us, though. Yeah. Never been to Prague. Not having actually, Ryan. No. I must admit, it's one of those places where I was like, oh, yeah, maybe Prague would be good. Then it just became like a sort of stag do destination. Um, so it's not really been on the uh, on the agenda, I'm afraid. But is it is it decent? Is it decent? If playing two up front, one could be a centre forward, the other one's a pressing forward. Could do. Oh, you're off in the morning for a stag do. Let's <laughs> see. There you go. There you go. That's exactly it. Um, there could be a pressing forward in the AF, but the reason I've given McBride a DLF is because he has a player trait of plays with his back to goal. So I'm thinking if he can come, if he can sort of like hold the ball up and drop deep a little bit, that should theoretically allow Beth or the Scottish striker to, to move around and, uh, and, and create some space. Might work, might not work. Maybe press and fall and defend could work for him as well so we should see but i like um i like a press and forward and a poacher on this match engine i think pride goes close striped black and white with gold fringes and sides that would be beautiful national de madeira i'll look out for that i'll have a little look at that one in a wee bit family are all well thank you uh ryan yeah we're all good we're all good thank you but we've got the you know, we have a children called but apart from that Life's grand. Certainly can't complain. I think uh, Jordan O'Neill is not having a great time of it, so let's bring him off from McCaffrey. McCaffrey, but we know it's the wrong time to bring him off. Hair's still wonderful. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you. Very, very kind of you to kind of you know us. Getting the old hydrates on the go, as Rajos pointed out. Just a little bit too heavy touch there. Spencer didn't get there. There's McDonald. On the top, Spencer doesn't quite fight for it. It's fine, he's in the right position. 3 1 <laughs> away from home.
you'll have to ping at me, to be honest, would you? Yeah, beating Ross County, the Clausian. It's in the uh, it's in the cup, so I don't know whether it, if it technically counts as a. Does it count as a victory? Of course, it counts as a victory. We, you know, we're working for it for cup wins, so if we can you know, keep ourselves in this cup, then that's what we need to do. East Fife's most capped player, Arnold Duera, Duera, Dueraka. 73 caps for Trinidad and Tobago. I love that. Also, Ali Alessi, former Sunderland uh, defender in the Ross County ranks. That was incredible. Absolutely incredible. Manchester United 1 0 down, 3 1 up. Nine days injury for the Scottish striker, three days for Gavin Webster. That was incredible performance, boys. Well done. We've now got seven days to dust ourselves down for a, for the visit of Montrose. Okay. Max Raul finishing acceleration jumping reach trial maybe maybe Sheffield might be beating Spurs Arsenal just beating Everton 4-0 mm. I mean that's not it's not great if you're Everton is it the players were unattached Tony Ross I guess as a winger he's got he's got all the potential hasn't he determination's good dribbling's good acceleration's pretty handy not particularly strong his work rate's not brilliant but his vision and his passing aren't good his concentration's not good either He's wanted by Glenn Torren. He's wanted by Falkirk, who are in the Championship. He's wanted by Queen of the South, who are in the Championship. He's wanted by Queen's Park, who are in the Championship. I mean, these are these are teams that are above us. Hello, Dan Reese. Welcome in. Hope you're good. This is this something we've got to consider? Chris Waddle. Could get a striker called Chris Waddle just for just for Rich. We also have to remember as well that our our scouts could be wrong about these players. Just because they've got a decent uh, decent bit of potential doesn't mean they're necessarily going to fulfil it. Especially if we're in a part time club like ourselves. Halfleed Goodmanson, I guess we trial a Icelandic. Striker. Cameron Cooper, six foot. Work rate's not brilliant. Brora Rangers. Need some players who are going to score goals, right? Like, there must be some players who are going to score goals. Must be. We've got money. Fair enough. Goodmanson's coming on trial. This could be interesting. So we've got Montrose, we've got Morton. And then, have we got one more of those games? No, then we're into the league against Montrose straight away. 
So we should know a little bit about ourselves before we start the season and work out whether or not this team's got the basis of a half-decent side. Lie Montrose are a team I usually see now in League Two permanently. They are, they tend to be. James Evans isn't going to go anywhere for 100 million quid, is he? All right, we're going to lose out on that one. Oh, my Bears, it's not going to be for us. Where he picked it to finish after the transfers. That's a good point. Let's have a little look and see, shall we? Remu. Hmm, okay. A Remu's a possibility for a for a loan eight. Interesting. Um we're currently currently predicted second. So I'm not sure how I feel about that at the minute. You know, I don't think we're the finished article just yet either. I think we've I think we've brought a couple of players in that are pretty decent, but we're still lacking in in areas. We've got some youngsters that we're looking to bring through as well. Obviously, we've brought you know, Barry Hercules in there. We've got um, this young lad, Mark Owens, Australian in the uh, in the defence. We've got Finley Duffy there as well. So we've got a couple of players. We've got Colin Skink, a right back. This is League Two Scotland. This is League One Scotland. So let's not do ourselves a slight disservice. We are a little bit ahead. Um, take time to gel, but could be a good season. I hope so. I think the issue that we're going to have potentially is kind of what we what we ended up with at Oxford in our last season is we don't want to be in the situation where our first eleven is good, and after that there's like a huge gap. We don't want that. Um, I am tempted to ask to offer Graham Murray the chance to be the director of football. Because part of me thinks that'd be quite funny. Go on, Graham Murray, you know you fancy it. Yeah, they stayed up. They actually won five games on the bounce at the end, so they more than stayed up, which is really bizarre. Um, should we do a line? Let's do a line. Let's do a line. Give us a number between one and 331. Inverness Cali are indeed difficult. Josh Smith, I can't see us getting Josh Smith. A7 says uh, Oh This this is a good one, Zah, you've done well here. Because not only have you picked a nice page, it also comes with a picture of Michael this time. So there you go. What a lovely picture. Four members of my family were there to see my first World Cup goal. Mum, Dad, Andy and Leslie. It sounds incredible, but I didn't get to see them, even after the game. They made the effort to come and support me, but there was no face-to-face -face contact for us all to remember. Security is always the main issue. A World Cup really is a long stint without seeing those you're closest to. It was only when we were no longer in the tournament that families were reunited. So you can imagine how closely the players are bound together. They only have one another. And as I said, the 1998 World Cup came too soon for me to feel part of the hierarchy. So the sense of isolation was especially sharp. Still, better maybe to have confronted those feelings of homesickness early in my career. In his book, The Controversial World Cup Diaries, Hoddle wrote that he'd always planned to start me against Colombia in the last group game on the basis that their defence was vulnerable to pace. This was not something he confided to me at the time. Even after my goal against Romania, I considered myself only 50-50 to make the starting lineup for our final group game. He certainly never gave me the nod in advance. So there you go. He didn't know. 
He didn't know. Just in case you were wondering, did Michael Owen know whether he was going to play? He was unsure. He was unaware. Josh Simpson, would you like to come and play centre half for us? I'm guessing the answer is no. Uh, squad numbers to be. Oh, look at this. <gasps> oh. East Five have been asked if they want to submit a squad number list. If no list is submitted, numbers 1s to 11 will be used. Do you not submit? There you go. 1 to 11. Even North East Patriots, by the way, welcome in. We've gone old school. Only need 18 shirts that way. Can we retire Scott's number? This is the reason we don't have squad numbers now, because of Scott. Scott took the squad numbers with him. He took the sheet. So we're like, oh, fuck. We'll save us some money this way, right? We only have to print out the um, 18 shirts. So, although it's going to be interesting to see what happens, though, when the um, when they have the end of season thing and they're like, oh, yeah, so nobody bought any shirts. Um... What do you think of this lad? Jack Griffith. His finishing's only six. His off the ball's very good. His concentration's not great. Again, we're going to have that concentration. Tessin Cowboy, welcome in. Appreciate the uh, the follow there. Technique's good. Composure's good. Decision making's good. Dribbling's good. He just runs. He just runs. He could be that pressing forward, couldn't he? He could be an athlete. He could be somebody. He could make you a star, kid. Would you like to just... And then again, he might then... Can, he might move to Wales with us later on. He wants to play up front. That's good. First teamer. Wants the midfield strengthened. I mean, that's... He wants to play as a deep line forward. Okay. We can do that. We've got a deep line forward anyway, so that's fine. 650 quid. He'd be one of our top earners. In fact, he'd be our top earner, I think. Is he? Marty Lake Boozman, welcome in. Appreciate you uh, being in there. Appreciate the follow. Now, let's just look. He would earn nearly twice as much as, as Gavin Webster. What's his finishing? He's finishing six. Uh, are you at East Fife long? Um, well, we, we've only just started, to be honest. We are literally in with our first first couple of games. Fat Nige there. Look at that. Four months on the prime. Appreciate you, Nige. Very, very kind indeed. Appreciate the support. Um, we were 11 seasons into the actual save itself. And, um, yeah, we've only just moved here. So we're hoping for something good. But you never know. You never know. The plan is to win stuff. So if we don't win stuff, then we'll be we'll be getting moved out. Um, this seems like a lot of money. I know we've got the money, but a three like, look. It's a three year deal he wants. We can't even nudge it down to two. He wants six hundred and fifty quid plus two hundred and seventy five quid appearance fee, and then he wants goal bonuses as well. I guess. It's that thing in it. If he scores goals, then he's then he's worth it. Would he take three hundred and fifty? I mean, that's a big drop in it. He's not. He's not massively keen on that, is he? Okay. Fair enough. Um, so Yemenich, yeah, we want to use save as the one that we probably want to use there. So that's that's what we're doing, looking at. And the British Steel Challenge here is um, to win everything in England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland. We might live to regret that one with with Griffith. There's no way he's going to get more than six hundred fifty quid at Connor's Key. No way at all. 
I'll be very interested to see what what he goes with. I know he doesn't have to move. But I don't think that's... I mean, he... Are we going to live to regret that? Don't know. Don't know. We'll soon find out. Cammy Aitken's tipped to be the uh, one of the top players. We can't afford to buy him, so he stays at Inverness Cali. Adam Souter. That's pretty good as well, doesn't he? He looks pretty decent. But let's also put Aitken on that shortlist as well for next year. Notice we're already thinking, yeah, we'll be fine. We'll get promoted. It'll be all right. No problem. I know you're not an air fan, uh, Rogi, but that Hummel template is lush. It's like the old, uh, the old Tottenham kit from back in the day. Glenn Hoddle one. That's lovely. Stuart Teeny at Montrose. Acceleration, finishing, composure off the ball. 23. Formerly on loan at, at, at East Fife. What do we think? I mean, look at that. They've got nobody in the in the uh, in the side, have they? If you got promoted, you'd have hurt the finance of 30% promotion and 5% pay rise. Yeah, exactly. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, if they're all sevens, then that's not great. If they're double figures, can't even take a, a punt on him. He hasn't scored many goals, has he? Three goals in 11 in, in League 2, and we're expecting him to jump up to League 1? No, let's not take that chance. We'll be able to take a couple of chances with some players, and there'll be some players that will be able to be like, oh, yeah, look at, look at what we've managed to get here. There's also going to be some players that we're gonna, we don't want to just keep making bad choices. You know? Try and limit that as much as we can. But Blakey would be interested in coming all his wages let's see if he'll come for free and they're not going to let us have a guru are they no <laughs> didn't think so didn't think so uh, who else did we like Jenkins Davies again they, they would, they'd let Jenkins Davies go I don't think we can afford him either. Sonny Perkins would be Sonny Perkins would be fun actually. Lots of money there. Paley. He's not gonna leave. I'll tell you who we'd like though. I'll tell you who we'd like. And I don't think we're gonna get him. Is this lad? Oh boo. Um Yes, Yemenich yeah, is absolutely includes every uh, all the leagues in every division. So this is what we've done so far. Uh, so eleven seasons in, we Northern Ireland is where we started. So we started in at Bambridge in the third division, which is this one here, this Loft Forty One Premier Intermediate League. We got promoted via the playoffs, so that counts as a trophy. We have also won the Danske Bank Premiership with Linfield. We've won the Coombs McCorchers. Intermediate Cup with Ban uh, with Banbridge. We've won the Antrim Shield with uh, Linfield. We won the Middlestar Cup with Dungannon. We then went to Oxford in the National League. Won the uh, came, got promoted in the National League. Uh, so we won the National League. Sorry, got promoted in, promoted in League Two. And we won the FA Trophy as well. Uh, all these ones are in yellow here. This is what we currently got in Scotland. So the League One, the Scottish Cup, the Premier Sports Cup. And the SPFL trophy. That's what we're playing for this season. Um, 
Rasper, I don't think they were. I don't think they were looking to sell Renford, were they? Or even loan him. Ah, that was it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was just. It was all too expensive for us. Uh, and Daryl Strawberry, I don't even think they were interested in selling Daryl Strawberry either. Yeah. One million pounds, very expensive. One million is worth it for the name. Yeah, so it's it's a it, it was basically it was a it was a rename from um from one of our one of our community has renamed him as Daryl Strawberry. So that's why that's why he's in there. So Graham Murty is the official director of football at East Fife. The Reading icon, apparently. So first thing Graham Murphy, uh, Murty needs to do is recommend some signings. Who have you found? Who do you know about? That's right backs. Great. First right back he suggests is, is Brazilian slash Italian. I mean we're gonna be we're gonna be struggling, aren't we? Stevie Coulson from Huntley. So give him a bit of scouting. Matt Cook from Edinburgh Uni. I like the fact that we're doing this on the cheap. Great mate, can let's at least scout these boys. They're all free, so that's that's quite handy. Right, look at that. Uh, INS, welcome in. Appreciate the uh, the follow there. Luca Murray, he doesn't look very good, does he? Strikers on on a. Uh, on on there, Gemin, Gemin and Nick, Gemin Nick. Appreciate the follow there. Very kind. Nal Kennedy finishing one to five. Oh dear. Ryan Quarter. Again, finishing is not very good. Ali Robertson. That's better. Scout you. Have a look at some players on loan, I reckon. Um, who you want looking up there, Keeney? From Morton from Celtic. Aaron Brown starts at Kilmarnock. Okay, we can have a little look. Aaron Brown. Starts at Kilmarnock. Here he is there. This guy here. Did we try and did we try and get him in on trial before? Do you reckon? I think I'm sure we tried to get him in before. Let's have a look. Um, try it's a cool challenge, says Geminic. I'm trying to do a challenge myself. Win the Champions League with Rangers. They're all squashed in the in the 25 man squad. Gemini JC. That probably makes more sense, doesn't it? Now I've read it out properly. Um, yeah, awesome, awesome. Though if you can try and get a Get a fully Scottish, um, a fully Scottish team to win the uh, win the Champions League is a great idea. Obviously, Lisbon Lions did it, so get uh, get yourself get yourself a go on that. Callum Hendry, thirty four now, thirty four. Pierce Charles was the other option there. Oh, so Aaron Brown's your mate's son? Interesting. Here's Charles. Don't know anything about him. Six foot four goalkeeper. Literally got nothing. I mean, to be fair, I I, I still wouldn't. I still wonder why I've got the player lookups on there because we play without any masking, so no one really finds out anybody. It's all, it's all a bit of a, it's always a bit of fun more than anything. Oh, hello, Job Graves, former Hearts player. Speaking of hellos, hello Doop. Hello buddy, welcome in. Pleasure to see you. 
Appreciate the raid, man. How's it going? My lot, by the way. My lot. If you're not following Duke, make sure you do that. Go and give the man some love. We uh, we love Duke. He's one. He's one of the reasons that I do this now. So you can blame him. To be honest, he was very uh, very much insistent when we first started out. Going, you need to stream. You should be a streamer. So I was like, all right, fine. So I listened to Dupe, and um, he's right. He's right. Um, but yeah, no, nice to see you back, man. Hope life's treating you good. Hope the family are well. Um, go get your food. Get your food. Hope the stream was good. Welcome in if you've come from Dupe's uh, stream and raid, by the way. We have recreated the face you made when Dupe fought on the podcast. Was it that? Maybe? That sort of means maybe it. Um, this, by the way, if, you, if you've come from Dupe's stream, we are doing the British Steel Challenge. Plan is to win everything in England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland. 35 trophies to win. We've so far, won eight. We're in season 11. We're now at East Fife in Scotland. So we've just started um, over there. We've been sort of in Northern Ireland for a few seasons. That was good. Went to Oxford for four years, which was decent enough in England. But then I was like, oh, may have ended up in a slight issue where I failed FFP. And... <laughs> We had a slight transfer embargo during the January transfer window, and I was like, well, this is a bit shit. And decided at that point that maybe I needed to start looking around for another club. So that's what we started to do. So we are like, right, let's try and look to leave. We were overreaching with them anyway at this point because there was no way we were supposed to be um, in the playoff mix. And things got really, really tight. So we dropped from like second position down to eighth in about four weeks or something and we just we were just like in free fall we got knocked out of the papa john's trophy which was sort of the only thing really left to play for that season so we're like right let's just go um and here's where we are so we're now into the into the it'll back up in there in scotland now trying to take on uh the league there we're in league two we're in league one um uh, we thought east five were gonna get relegated to be fair they were like sort of bottom of the table when we had the discussions about taking over Holiday to the end of the season. They won five games back to back and finished mid-table. So excellent work there. So we've obviously come in now. We're trying to, to get the club up and running and just sort of see what we can do. Um, biggest bit of news to talk about, really, I guess, is we've signed a player called Donald McDonald. Because why would you not? Why would you not? You know, so, um, yeah, this is where we are. We're, we're all right. We've just done our sort of, there's like a sort of pre-season cup essentially similar to the Carabao Cup but with a group stage um, so we're playing that in the minute so we've got Montrose today and then we've got uh, another game against Greenwich Morton and then we play Montrose again the first game of the league season so you'll get to see some league football starting out there uh, you had a guy called Ross Ross at Stranra <laughs> I quite like that to be honest um, oh, this isn't good Quinn Winazaki is a uh, is wanted by Falkirk and he's going to be pretty pissed off if he doesn't get to speak to them as well. So, where did Oxford finish? Oxford finished eighth, actually, Hobbsy. They just missed out on the playoffs. So, the team was there or thereabouts. We could have had another, we could have ended it and, like, not got relegated easily. We could have been in that position, but, I mean, it was just getting horrible, wasn't it? Like, we, there was nothing to play for and it was, like, another season of, like, not winning anything. So, we thought, right, let's at least get ourselves away and try and sort of, like, look to the future, essentially. Um, I don't think that's a good enough deal. Two and a half grand. I think we want to try and hold on to him. Yeah. Is he going to get pissed off? Probably. Let's reject it. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> That's not it's not really worked, has it, to be honest. Um let's have a little look. Finances weren't right if they come back with a decent bid. What's the bid? 18 grand? That works. That's better than two grand. Yeah, they were taking the piss with two. You know. Dean good evening all. What a night. Liverpool actually win my home city Belfast. Their ice hockey team, the Giants, won the Challenge Cup. Watched it on Via Play. There you go. Big up the Via Play. Also very uh, very excited about the uh, the the Belfast ice hockey as well, so congratulations on them the Challenge Cup final victory, I'm on the heart says JJ, yeah I mean I'll be honest JJ not an East Fife fan myself I must admit this is um 
this is all part and parcel of the uh, of the save. So I appreciate the follow-up. It's very, very kind indeed. Um, let me know, by the way, who you guys are managing in your saves as well. It's always interesting to find out who's who's doing what and how you're approaching the game because everyone plays it differently. So it's always interesting to be like, oh, I do this, I do this, I do this. Ah, okay, that's pretty cool. You know? Um, he looks handy. He looks very handy. Gegen Press is at Groningen. I, I am partial to a bit of Dutch football, I must admit. That's. Yeah, that's good. I like that. I like that, Gegen Press. How are you getting on? Whereabouts are you? How many seasons have you been involved at Groningen? Jens has just got promoted to the National League with Darlington. Good work. Very good, Jens. Up the, uh, up the Quakers. Dino, managing my favourite Scottish team, Rangers. At least we can virtually win something. Well, yeah, yeah, <laughs> there is that. Um, should say as well my uh my my family allegiance is the other side of glasgow my, we're uh we're green and white but then we also also we are we are st mirren so we're paisley so one day one day we'll manage paisley to glory on this uh on this game that's that's what i'm saying i've already uh mentioned it to my mods and they're like don't 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 play <laughs> don't try and take st mirren why would you nobody's done that before nobody would ever do that so we'll see how we get on. Uh, Osho Val is 11 seasons at Michelin, having moved from Hoffenheim. Came in halfway through the season, started to pick up the Europa Conference League. Nice, good work. Very good work. See, this is this is what, and I, it's not, this is what I've worked out because I clearly knew this a lot. But everyone's very, very good at FM. Everyone's very good at FM. Bar the people who stream it, that's what I've noticed. You know, me, for example. Uh, JJ playing possession football with Hearts, trying to recruit and trying to recruit like Brighton and Brentford. Nice, and I think that's that's a good way of doing it. You know, that's a really, really good way of doing it. Like make it look like there's a plan. Like we we've got money, we've got money in this division. Okay, we've got 270 grand in League One in uh, in Scottish football, which is a lot of money for this division. But I don't really want to spend it because I'd rather try and find some cheap players in there, young players who we can sell on for money later on and. and and boost those coffers again you know that's uh that's one of the things that we need to be doing so we are, we, are, we tend not to spend a lot of money unless it's a case of like i think we bought one player at, at linfield it was like half a million quid should never have paid half a million pound for a player at linfield but it was like we need someone just to guarantee us the title and he did he absolutely did so yeah usually we play usually we sort of keep it a little bit reserved but Occasionally we can splash out. Attempting to do build a nation, says Hobbs. He might get chat GPT to pick my team. What is this chat GPT? People, sorry, I'm going, I'm going old man shout to cloud here, aren't I? Like, I've seen it. I've seen people talk about it. And that's about as far as I get. Is it like an AI bot or something? That just does selections for you. Gavin Webster all the way through. What a goal. Man's just got acceleration. He's got flames on his feet. Always looking for the future, sometimes it backfires. Oh, 100%, JJ, 100%. And I guess that's the fun, though, right? That's the fun. When it works, it's brilliant. When it doesn't work, you're full of, you've got a team full of 24 olds who are a bit shit. And you can't move them on. But I guess that's real life, right? Kev did a video yesterday, essentially wrote a script from YouTube video for him. Okay, I'll have a little look. As I say, it's one of those things I've seen. I've seen the words posted around. I don't really know what it does or, or where we get it. Uh, did Donald McDonald sign? Yes, of course he did. Donald McDonald is in, starting. There he is there, number six uh, in the midfield. Flowing locks as well. Also, we're putting out there that we've uh, refused to have squad numbers this season because we can do that in League One. Turned down squad numbers, so the players are 1-11, to 11, old school. It's pretty handy, right? Plus, look at this, look at this. Played three and the minute won three. At the minute, of course. Linfield, your local team, Dino, and I live in Northern Ireland. Been in England 17 years. Well, Linfield was who we were managing in Northern Ireland. We've done Banbridge, we've done Portadown, we've done Dungannon. And then won the uh, the Premiership with Linfield. Which, as I'm saying, if my family are Celtic fans, I know it's a bit of a difficult one, that one. Uh, possibility changes are endless. It can write you a whole guide for a city trip if you want. 
Interesting. Interesting. I'm not sure if I'd want that, but it is interesting. Oh, look at that little back heel from O'Neill, the centre back. Nice. Silky 4 4 2 here. Do you have to take their own home kits to wash? Yes, absolutely. Of course you do. But then it also suggests that you're getting picked next season as well, uh, in the next match as well. Because if you've got the kit, then, you, then you're like, oh, well, I've actually got the kit, so I'm allowed to play. That, unfortunately, <laughs> is. Um, that's an error. That's a slight error in it. This is not this is not brilliant. In fact, of all the things I've seen so far, it's just a bit. Oh dear. Oh dear. What team is this? This is East Fife JR. East Fife in League One in Scotland. Uh, it's season eleven, so you'll probably not recognise any of the players, uh, apart from this guy Walls. Who's, who's been there all his career, so. I mean, you only recognize him if you know players from East Fife, obviously, as well, so that's, <laughs> that's also a part of the thing. Oh, no, I don't really know much about East Fife, but I do know that guy there, yeah, yeah, that's, that's perfect. Uh, Kyle Gavin started in Sterling Albion, won League Two, and the SPFL Trust Trophy, now at Dundee United in the Championship. Excellent, well, you know what, that gives me confidence there, Kyle, that, um, that you can win the SPFL trophy down in the doldrums, as we're going to call it, because obviously I need to win that as part of this safe. Spence has got those uh, magic heels on. Walls. Webster pulls it down at the air. No penalty. No penalty. Any recommendations of what teams to take over? I mean, look, I mean, it depends upon how you want to play the game, really, to be honest. Uh, JR, what I like to do, I like to get in, I like to play. At the lowest levels, personally, I don't enjoy playing in the in the higher divisions. So for me, this is great. Like getting in at teams I've not really experienced before, um, leagues I have had some experience of because I used to always do a Berwick save whenever whenever I started the game. I used to always go to Berwick and play that. Um, but I, I like a, I like a proper lower league journey, man. Like start with no badges, start with no experience, start unemployed, and just see where it goes because. At that point, you, you're not sort of like tied in with the, the idea of a save or you're trying to sort of like convince yourself to be a specific club and then if it doesn't work out, you're like, oh, God, then what else? Like, I guess in a journey, man, if it doesn't work out, it's all part and parcel of it, really. But, you know, conversely, if you want to have like a team to build something with, then I think teams like Sunderland, Middlesbrough, I mean, QPR's mentioned there in the chat, that's a good team to start building with. Um, you've got teams like Derby in League One, you've got teams like Shepherd Wednesday, you've got, and that's obviously just, just sticking in England. Scottish football, as I said, is, is great fun as well. There's some great teams. St Mirren, St Mirren's the team. Go and do that. Don't do St Mirren, nobody wants to do that. Stupid idea. Kelty Hearts, maybe. Bonnie Rig Rose, possibly. Um, I mean, even go down to the non leagues, like teams like Gateshead, teams like York. York, I mean, look, York's in its centenary season this year. The kids are stunning. Um, can you get them in the Football League in the first season? That's maybe an option. If you're doing Stockport already, then maybe you don't want to be doing York as well. I appreciate the fall, by the way, JR. It's very kind. Um, about something like Benfica, maybe Lisbon, maybe uh, Zwalo. Welcome in. Appreciate your follow as well. Very kind. I don't know. It, it's, a, it's an interesting one. Like, go on. Even like sort of maybe Italy, open goal, Broom Hills, fun. Yeah, that's that's what your team Mozza was connected to. Mozza had a bit of a dealings with them, so they're interesting. I guess that's the thing. I guess it, it's trying to work out what it is you want from the save. Like, do you just want you know a bit of fun? Do you want something that you can actually build something with? Do you want to keep moving around? Do you want to stay in one place? Do you want to? Do you want to have a challenge? Like, you know, is it a case of, right, I need to win, like what we're doing here, I need to win everything. You know, you can do that if you don't set yourself a time limit, but if you wanted to make it difficult, go, right, I'm going to win out everything in 30 seasons or 25 seasons. Oh! I mean, we'll be lucky if we do this in 50 seasons at this point, but I think it can be done. How about Sao Pauli in Germany? How about Kaiser Schlauten? 1860 Munich, Bochum. Uh, must be some teams in uh, 
in Serie C. Virtus Verona. I had a save with them last year. They were like the, the left wing football club. It was great fun. Finland's fantastic fun. Indonesia was where I was last season as well. Fucking loved Indonesia. It was brilliant. Anyone who had a, anyone who had double attributes, like a like a, a ten. Anybody had that, they were classed as an absolute superstar. Anyone who's over five foot seven was a monster. Genuinely. So. All right, penalty shootouts to decide who wins this one. Doing a tier 10 save, there you go. Indonesians are short. Yes, they are. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> just, just spitting facts at this point now. Oh, we did have a player who was six foot seven. It was a new gen, obviously, he wasn't a real player. But ironically, we then got and there was another new gen with exactly the same name who was five foot eight. So we we bought them both and just went. We had and they're both called Ronnie, so we had the two Ronnies. Change my mind doing Sunderland. Yes, JR. There you go, Richie, one of ours. Got another, got another Sunderland save on the go. Oh, dreadful penalty from Spencer. Above average, highest 5 7 anyway. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. But if there's like a nation where no one's over six foot, that's difficult. Especially if you've got a goalkeeper who's five foot six. That's not brilliant. Five foot three. Like a couple of Jorge Campos's. Oshava spent a lot of time managing in Denmark. It's nice being on the fringes of good football. Just trying to push to get that super team to make a Champions League run. I tell you, it was a good team if you're doing Scandinavia. McDonald's missed as well. Two penalties missed at the end. We've tasted defeat for the first time. It's a bit of, bit of a shame. Uh, JJ Living Kokodi, which is in five. My local team is Wraith Rovers, which is our rivals. Yeah, they are indeed. We'll play them shortly at some point, I'm guessing. Sometime we'll play them. Um, they got in a bit of trouble fighting Wraith, didn't they? You know, signing a player that they shouldn't have done. Um, where are they then? Are they? Are they? Yeah, next division. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see the next division. We'll see. Um, Gala Ferry Dean Rovers hasn't been in Premier League after six seasons. There you go. Sports mad, even in Tony Tactics. <laughs> welcome, welcome, yes. Uh, season started, well, we've not, I think we're in this sort of like this little, we're in the the, um, the Premier Sports trophy before the season starts. We've got one more match to play in that in, in the group stages. I think we've already qualified, so we've got that to do. Um, we've just technically lost our first game because we... Um, We've lost on penalties. So the scouting assignments. Um, we don't really have a scout. <laughs> so that's the problem. Um, we've got a... This is what we've got. Nothing. <laughs> we haven't got any scouts. <laughs> We're trying to recruit them at the minute. So so this so at this point, I, I can't really show you a great deal. Um, I can show you the, uh, the fact that we have our chief scout, and that's it. And we're trying to get two scouts in. Our director of football is the guy who's got all the knowledge. Uh, we haven't even got a physio. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have an assistant manager here. So I don't know what's going on here. I've got a goalkeeping coach and I've got a general coach. I think we might have to get rid of, of the goalkeeping coach and get a, and get a, a bloody assistant manager in. Like, But I just can't get one. <laughs> this is the joys of semi-pro football, right? So yeah, there's a couple of a couple of things we're missing. This is this is the level we play at, <laughs> you know. Where's your scout assignments? My scout assignments. Has anyone got chat manager? <laughs> Scouting is watching match of the day and going, oh, he looks all right. I mean. Luca Backhouse has a great name. I don't think he's any good, but it's a great name. Mm. 
I'm aware this. I'm aware this bit feels a little bit pre-seasony. But I know it is a proper trophy. We do have to take it seriously, but it does feel a little pre-seasony. Here, for example, look, here's our scouting adverts. So we are looking to try and get a scout at some point. If we get one, then we can show you some assignments. Going, right, this is what I want you to do. Um, but the best scouts look like players who've got judging ability of eight and six, which I know is fine for this level, but I'd like maybe... I'd like someone who's got maybe a nine, you know? JJ with a tier one. Appreciate JJ. Thank you, mate. That's very, very kind indeed. And you're right. Scottish football is is amazing. What's happened to Scott O'Neill? Oh, don't. Because the thing is, though, like, Rogie's still upset about that, you know? Rogie's still upset. Uh, Dino, appreciate the bit. It's very kind. Off to bed. Been following you for a while. Just never watched the stream. Uh, disabled. Usually in bed early, but still to watch the ice hockey game. Great stream and game all night. Mate, Dino. Appreciate you, man. Thank you so much for being in. Um, yeah, don't 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 worry about not being able to stay up all night. Of course, that's the thing. It's we do stream a little bit later in the evening, but yeah, catch the vods. The vods are always on there. But um, yeah, like I say, appreciate you. Uh, appreciate the support. Appreciate you popping in. Always very kind, especially if you've been uh, been watching for a little while. Um, what happened to Scott O'Neill? Scott O'Neill, we we let him leave. We let him leave, and well, we didn't let him leave. We made him leave. It's probably the uh, the correct answer. Because that's his attributes. Like, well, this was literally the start of the stream. Was me still trying to justify why we let him go. Now, I think the fact that he's got acceleration of three and pace of four is is the main thing, right? For a centre half, yes, he could play as part of a three, right? Possibly, I think, maybe, I don't know. FC Edinburgh have tried to sign him. Kilwin and Rangers have tried to sign him. He hasn't gone. He's got jumper reach of sixteen. He's six foot four. He's a, he's a lump. He's brilliant. That's just not quite what I want. Not quite what I need, I don't think. Um, so, yeah, we'll keep our eyes on him. Although, ironically, I don't know if you've seen in the, in the chat earlier on. Let's see if it's still there. Uh, it can only be an enganch. <laughs> quite possibly, actually. Um, what you might have seen is I posted this in the Discord. If, you haven't, if you're not in the Discord, by the way, get in the Discord. Um, this came out today. In unrelated news, I would like to suggest uh, East Fife have called for a um, have called for a supporters club meeting. I don't know if it's because of the fact that we've uh, we've released a player who's not real. Uh, I'd like to think it's that. I'd like to think that they, 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 they've taken it that seriously. And just went right. We need to stop James. Jameson is out of hand. He's been here literally a matter of minutes, and he's already getting rid of players that realistically could be fantastic at this level. Um, I'd like to think it's that. James Farrell Kane. We could have a little nosy on you, couldn't we? Try and convince you to not go to Dundalk. Everybody wants these uh, training facilities improved. And you know what? That's fine, but we can't. Can't improve midfield. Can't pay two and a half grand either. So is James Farrell. Victor Schaaf. Want to buy Coventry? We're not getting past that. Unfortunately, also as well, but there's the Discord. If you're not watching the uh, football manager show as well, get, drop that a follow. I know if you're coming from the Duke Raid, you'd you clearly listen to Five Star Potential because you're, you're you're people of impeccable taste. But um, yeah, give, give the football manager show a listen as well. See what you reckon. Uh, Jack Griffiths has turned down the chance to join Connor's Key. Who'd have thought? Let's have a little look. See what's what. I thought, oh, they like you. They saw zero percent with James now. Only see the result was James and out fifty seven percent further down. Oh yeah, yeah. I feel as though there's a little bit of a stitch up job here to be honest, Patriots. But you know, just got to go with it, haven't we? Um, what we're we saying here, trying to get catch up. How's the Scottish striker getting on? The Scottish striker is looking pretty handy. He scored a goal. He's got an assist. He took a knock, so he's, he's rested our last match. But he's back now. Um, to replace Bailey Kadamari, who of course hasn't scored in his first match, but that's not a problem. It's not a problem. Just keep moving things around. Pokes is in. Hello, Pokes. Dropping in with three months on the prime as well. Mate, I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Big shout out, by the way, for Pokes, who genuinely I love as a streamer. I love him so much. He's so much fun. If you do, if you do me one favor tonight, do me one favor tonight, go and drop Pokes a follow, okay? If you don't do it, do it now. Um, 
like it's just yeah he's he's brilliant he's brilliant he's just so much fun the save's fantastic uh, this Tottenham Athletic save so definitely go and, and prod that I mean look how he's not on over a thousand followers yet I've got no idea but yeah let's try and make that happen go and go and show him some love um you'll you'll not regret it honestly it's it's a lot of fun that that hanging out with Pokes so yeah appreciate you back in buddy nice to see you as always as I say three months on the sub you absolute star you we're um we're up the other end of the of the country here the Pokes we're in Scotland at East Fife right now um uh, we left Oxford we left uh, we left Tory Town we're gonna go back to as as left wing as we possibly can. We're in we're in Labour territory right now, or, or SNP territory possibly, um, to try and get ourselves back onto uh, the slight sort of slope of, of morally acceptable adventure. Um, but yeah, this is the uh, the match against against Granite Morton, which is probably going to be the toughest game I think in our in our tournament, certainly our group stage. So if we can um, just about survive here, and I think we're through. I mean, in fact, we're second. We're, we're actually, we're top, sorry. Here's the uh, McBride inside. These kits, by the way, for East Fife are incredible. McDonald with the effort. Thinking about Vin Denise Van Outen a lot since my... <laughs> thinking about Denise Van Outen a lot since my last visit here. Mate, did you... This is the thing. Denise Van Outen, once you, once you say her name, she's everywhere. Like, this was the thing. Franco, appreciate the prime. Thank you so much, buddy. Very, very kind indeed. Um, I don't watch The Masked Singer. Mrs. J watches The Masked Singer. And it was on the other night. And then they had a duet. And fucking Denise Van Outen was doing it. I was like, she's hiding in plain sight, bloody Coolio killer. So, there you go. It didn't, I've not even thought about her for a while. Then all of a sudden, there she is. And, uh, yeah, just hanging about, doing singing. McBride's got a goal. What a goal that was, by the way. Outstanding finish. Um, Elmo TV, let's describe the save. So the save is this, buddy. It is the British Steel Challenge. The plan is we want to try and win every single title in England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. That's 35 trophies in total. Now, trophies can mean promotions, okay? So you've got leagues where you've got not just the top team gets promoted, maybe second place gets promoted. That counts as a trophy. Playoffs absolutely counts as a trophy because you win a playoff trophy. Um, there's a lot to win. There's a lot to win. We've not won a lot just yet. We've won eight out of the 35, which is all right. We're in 11 seasons now, so we're you know just about under a trophy a season, which is fine, given the fact you've got to start unemployed with no experience, no badges. Um, you know, we started in Northern Ireland at Banbridge, then we moved to Port Down, having already been promoted with Banbridge to the second division. Won a cup with them. Port Down looked like a better step up. Didn't get much going there. Went to Dungannon. Won a cup with them. Nearly got relegated, so resigned. Went to Linfield. Won the top division. Won a cup. Left. Just, we could have played in the Champions League qualifiers, but we didn't need to because the Champions League is obviously not something we're going to be trying to do. So we thought, right, let's leave there. Uh, came to Oxford in the National League. We finished second the first season. We lost the playoffs the first season. We then, second season, won the league and won the FA Trophy. So two trophies in one season. Again, uh, haven't done the same with, with, with Linfield. Uh, two trophies there. Then got promoted from League from the, from League 2 into League 1. So we finished second. Got ourselves promoted. And then League 1, we missed out of the, the, um, the Papa John's Pizza Cup. And um, we slipped out of the playoffs mid-season so we're like look we're out of the Papa John's we're not going to get promoted really so let's try and move out so we thought let's move to Scotland four more trophies to go for in Scotland in this league so yeah hopefully this will be a hopefully this should be fun to be honest so I'm looking forward to it Scottish League 1 as well so not the top division we've still got to go back to Scottish League 2 we've still got to go back to the Vanarama National the Vanarama South we've still got to go back to win Irish second division, still a trophy in the Irish third division we need to win because there's some regional cup competitions. And then that's before we even get to Wales where you've got Cymru North, Cymru South with one promotion spot only in those divisions and a regional trophy. God, that's going to be hard, isn't it? Webster! What a strike. <laughs> right on, right on half time. And Franco, you're right. Let's get the hydrates on because that 
was perfectly timed from Webster. Captain, Captain Fantastic, I think, I think we'll, uh, we'll describe him as. But yes, if you are brand new, let me know, let me know what you, who you're managing on your saves. Especially if it's an interesting save. I'm always interested to see what people come up with. You know? You know, not that, you know, Bayern Munich in the Champions League after three seasons isn't exciting and interesting. It is, but you know, there's obviously some much more exciting saves out there. Thank you, everyone, by the way, who's uh, dropped on the subs on there as well very kind indeed if you've got amazon prime do amazon prime that's the the cheapest that's the free way of doing it because you obviously already subscribed via amazon prime you know that's part of your prime package you get a free a free twitch sub every single month don't have to use it on me you can use it on anyone on the platform you can switch it around every month if you want to but link your prime to your twitch it doesn't cost you anything bezels has got your back on that one uh stick it in with the creator the creator gets a little kickback which is quite nice a bit of support for the channel and then, yeah, where you go, as I say, feel free to move those around as and when you want. But, uh, but yeah, if you can't afford to do that, and of course there is absolutely no, no um, requirement to do anything like that. So if you if you haven't dropped, if you drop, drop a follow, that'll be handy as well. And you can get little notifications to when we stream. We stream Mondays, Friday, Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays. Um, Sometimes we do Saturdays, which is sort of uh, turning out quite nice at the minute. Sunday, I like a Sunday stream. So there's a few extra chances to see us during the week, but usually Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, and it's this save. It's this save only. It's a long-term save. So do that. Granite Morton has the name of a minor antagonist in the Dungeons and Dragons campaign. <laughs> it possibly does, doesn't it? Ah, you'll be uh, you'll be expecting Grenick Morton anytime soon, are you? Mm, I am, sir. Yes. Grenick Morton sounds like a solicitor's. Grenick Morton can get your PPI back. Have you had an accident at work? Contact Grenick Morton solicitors. Spencer with the ball, down the line, pulls it back. Defenders pick it up. I tell you what, for how good Spencer is, his delivery's crap. Webster, what a ball that was, though. Spread with the outside of the foot. Webster again, miss, just slow, slow control. McBride, Spencer, keep the kicks it away for some reason. Got this, lads. We're also reading some cracking literature here, by the way. Yes, we are on the... Uh, on the do a line channel point redemption we read from michael owen's autobiography it's fucking dreadful uh, what nation is your team based in ask mayors we're in scotland mayors scotland we are in league one in scotland so you probably haven't heard of east five they tend not to appear too high up on the tv listings or too far in trophies or anything like that so yeah they're um well, the kit's lovely isn't it i know he's a left wing back really Oh, God, penalty, surely, surely. Bit of wonderful play there. Scottish striker getting involved. Don't you dare go down the other end and equalise. Oh, come on. Referee. Not having that. Not having it at all. This is the first time I've got wound up on this game, isn't it? <laughs> because it was, that was clearly, we should, have, we should have had the game dead and buried at 3-1. We should have finished that off. I think there's possibly a foul in there as well. And all the way down the other end. Slots it home. It's fine, don't worry. Webster. Macbeth. Scottish striker, we should say, sorry. Spencer. And look, yeah, I know Spencer's a left wing back, technically, Franco, but he also can play a winger. That's what they're saying. There you go, he's grabbing him again, Morrison. That's who, who did the foul in the penalty area. Give him his third chance there. Deflected off. Walls crunching tackle there. Big strong challenge actually. Colton. Just take your time. Although having said that, we have got 
Do we need to push on? We don't really, I guess. I've, I've moved up to uh, positive anyway, but... Yeah, we moved down the second, so we might actually need to to win to qualify because I worry if we get knocked out here it might be good to lose on the first hurdle right especially if we've gone if we go out on one penalty shootout as well that'll be a bit of shit Webster Scottish player Looking up three minutes of time out on 90 seconds left, apparently. When you ask, he pings it forward into nobody. Oh, hang on, Macbeth, the bride. Where's he going? Wrong way. Scottish striker. Oh. Offside, apparently. Nice intercepted. We're looking all right, to be honest. In terms of our shape, what a ball that is. McBride, brilliant save. The top. Three second place teams go through. Are we going to be the top three second place teams? Bry Guy, appreciate the follow by the way. Very kind. Thank you for that. Epic man drip. Got journeyman save going on. Oh! oh, oh. Jordan O'Neill. Bullet header. There's the win. What a header that is. Get up there, lad. Bang, get your head on it. Pretty much the last kick of the match as well. <laughs> outstanding, outstanding. Um, I shouted you're going through wrong way. All's when the ends well. Yes, we've won. We've So, so we couldn't have gone through that apparently, Mushroom Black. But we have done now. Well done on, on being promoted and getting through that. Can get in. Uh, epic man drip. Journeyman save from Racing Montevideo in Uruguay. We were in Uruguay for a little bit last season. Pretty tricky. Promotion and Copa Sudamericana finalist. Katsamon Suspor and Kaiko Rizespor in Turkey. I did like managing in Turkey a couple of years ago. I was in uh, I was in Besiktas. Loved it. Then Fenerbahce. Uh, no, not Besiktas. Sorry, a Bursaspor. Uh, and then now with Hirona in Spain in the semi-final of the Conference League, fighting for a Champions League qualification spot in the league. Epic mandrip. That sounds like an epic save, to be honest. I love the sound of that as a journeyman. All proper, like, great, interesting teams uh, going on there, to be honest. So, excellent stuff. Uh, RIP Hat of Sport. Yes, yes, of course. Obviously, what's happening in Turkey is, is horrific as well. So, we should consider that and... Uh, yeah, hopefully, um, hopefully Bill can start to to move on from that and rebuild. Um, so yeah, it is a shame. It's an absolute shame what's happened. Um, can we get can we get him in? They like him. People are saying he's going to be good. I think he might be good. Are we going to pay six hundred quid for him though? It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. It's twice as much as we pay everybody else. That's what we need to try and work out, innit? Is he twice as good as all the other players? Ethan Ennis. £4,800, Swansea. It's been exciting. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah I think you can tell. It's a, it sounds like a cracking save, to be honest. Will Dickinson, or Dixon. Doesn't want to come to us, wants to go to Sheffield Wednesday. Oh, all right, okay. Yeah, when you ask, he's off then. We wanted 18 grand. They've offered us 20. Okay, fine. Away you go. Montrose want to sign Jordan O'Neill. I don't want to sell you, Jordan. I don't want to sell you. I've now got to try and find a new right back. Which I wasn't thinking about. Well, who's David Duncan? Do you now look half handy? Poor technique, inconsistent performer, brilliant. Just what we were hoping for. Would you like to come in on trial, David? 
have a little nosy about. I think this seems to be my uh, my scout's job today was, oh, I went to Dunfermline. 15 finishing, 30 off the ball, seven goals in four games in the uh, in the Premier Sports Cup for Jordan Fulton. Anybody, any right backs now? Nathan Gray. Former Rangers B. Let's get you on a trial. Have a little look. See how my standard save setup is randomly assigned six playable leagues, one top tier league, two average leagues, and three farmers leagues. Like the Premier League, you mean? That's that's the that's a proper farmers league. Um start employing work from the bottom. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Sounds like the sort of save I do, to be honest. Um I think next year I might do Next year, like, because this has been great, by the way. Like, doing British Steel has been fantastic because it's very, like, it's very me, but it's also it's also not because I tend not to sort of like have any um, any like sort of trophies as my goal, essentially. So it sort of has all the hallmarks of a journeyman, which is which is what I love. Um, but then it has like sort of the interesting teams as well. So there is part of me thinking, like, do I do something like? Um, do something like this next year but with like some different nations so maybe do like a sort of Eastern European equivalent where you've got to try and win all the, all the, the leagues and the countries in Eastern Europe um, I don't know I don't know I don't even know why I'm thinking about next year already because I've not we're not even anywhere near finishing this one yet Worried now that potentially, um, potentially we, we might lose Jordan O'Neill now as well. Brain Zeng, he's not going to come to. No, he's not, is he? No, of course he's not. Of course he's not. Don't be so silly. Try to win all the trophies in Scandinavia, maybe. Yeah, yeah, we could do, but then like we'd have to take it. No, that sounds really silly. We have to take it quite low down because we we did the Scandinavian Triple Crown last year, which was really good. But we, so we started with with Odd Ball Club in Norway, um, and then you know they're they're like a elite sailing inside. So again, we're sort of starting at the top. Then we said go to Sweden. Then we said go to Nor uh, go to Denmark. So we kind of wanted to do it in that specific order as well. So that made it really tricky to try and work out how you moved between those teams. Um, so that was that was interesting. Um, so we might try and do something like that. Scandinavia is always fun, but if you sort of start unemployed, you start at the bottom in Scandinavia, but then you've got to do it all. Like so, you have Scandinavia and maybe like the the Icelandic teams as well, and Finland. Then you know you're right there. There's four leagues in in Norway. Zach, Zah, you're right. We're not going straight to the top, of course. We're not. So there is definitely some options. I guess is the. Uh, the way I put it right so here we go oh oh Rogie's gonna love this Rogie is gonna love this can't believe it can't believe we've drawn uh, <laughs> can't believe we've drawn Kilmarnock and you know what He's going to cheer Kilmarnock. I know he is. And that's fine. It's totally fine. Um, couple of players on trial that we need to think about as well you probably won't love the Kilmarnock in League 1 in his save in your save yeah maybe not the closing maybe not um, Webster Donald McDonald's got better leadership than Blessing so I think he's going to have to move up isn't he 
Let's just do that. Move it around. I'm sure some people will kick off. Oh, the secret's safe with me. I'm not saying a word. I'm not saying a word. This is this is entirely up to you. <laughs> the closing like, let's just keep it quiet, right? Nobody needs to know. Uh, Morton have made a non-negotiable bid for Winyaski as well, so he's got to go there, hasn't he? Right. Great. So we're definitely going to lose our right back. So we need a right back ASAP. Um, anybody know a right back who can play in League One in Scotland in 2032? Anybody off the top of your head? No, nobody knows. Nobody knows. Different Alex Ray. No, <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right, yeah. Thanks, thanks, Dan. <laughs> no, no, I don't, I don't, Tony. <laughs> Next question, Jordi Albert. Oh, definitely not Hakimi. No, no, we're not having him. Uh, not after what he's been recently accused of. Um, you and Grimmer, all my right backs have been new gens. Yes, they all have. They all have. Twenty thirty two. I'll be forty two. I live twenty miles from East Fife. In you come, Alabama. You're playing. You're playing. Albanac, I, I called you Alabama last time. Albanac. About Grimmer. 19 for bravery. 15 for jumping reach. He's a centre back, though, isn't he? That's the. Hmm. Okay. Dominic and Bondi. Interesting. Had some cracking ones, or one. My current one's called Kai Cannon. I'm a fan of that. I'm a fan. Pale me. Appreciate the follow. Pal me. Pal me. Pal me. Appreciate the follow. Very kind. I was going to put on a on that. Why is hardly anyone showing up? At 29, I've got no pace, but I can tackle a bit. It's perfect. It's perfect. You know, if anything, the fact that you can tackle a bit means you're actually overqualified. What I need is any players who've never played football before and are willing to kick things. You know, uh, Roy McLeod is my is a Dundee my my save original player left in twenty thirty seven. Larks Thistle. Let's have a look and let's let's have a look at Rory McLeod. See if he's still in there. He's still there. He's twenty six. Six point eight mil. He's doing all right, isn't he? The D United home of home of players who are who are handy. I think I will get another little little hydra on that. I appreciate you. Um, in fact, actually, our our very own Warren Barton doesn't have a club, does he? Still doesn't want to join us either. Still got no interest. I don't care. You know, I haven't even got a contract. I'd rather not play for you. All right, that's fair enough. Can't can't loan him either. Um, who Oxford got a right back? We shouldn't keep going back to our former haunts, obviously. But I think Gilchrist two grand's too expensive. Reese Hall. Sounds a very Oxford name, doesn't it? Chamadu. Who do we let go? We let um was it Lintot Lintot? It's twenty nine. Again, two grand, that's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. Yeah, we can't pay those wages. I take it we still can't get Blakey, can we? Different Blakey, different Blakey entirely. This Blakey. Hello, Salty B. Welcome, 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 buddy. How are you? I hope life's treating you good. Um, what was the dessert of the day? We haven't had dessert. I've had a wagon wheel. I had a wagon wheel. Um, I need to get I need to get another dessert on the go actually. I think we've we've missed missed them out for a little bit. Um I'm starting to put a put a few pounds on. I think I need to 
get back to the gym, lift it off, and then re re sort of recalibrate, I reckon, uh, and go again. So we'll get that done. Um, again, everyone, if you're not following Salty B, like why not? You need to make that happen. Make that happen again tonight. He's a fantastic streamer. You'll absolutely love him. You'll love hanging out in his company. He's managing in Indonesia as well at the minute. So when we talk about Indonesia earlier on, you can relive that. You can relive all those moments right now. Up oh, the Slemon. Yeah, Slemon, if you're not uh, familiar, is... Um, They've got this is this is the uh, the video we, we we watched last year that got us into Indonesian football as an idea for a save, and Slemon have got um, the they've got a female led ultras division which is fucking incredible, and essentially what they've done is they've just tried to sort of tidy the club up and like make it run professionally, so it was really really smart really smartly well done and and it was just like it was fantastic for for seeing how the how the club have pushed on and progressed and it's. Um, because obviously women didn't feel safe going to the games. So they were like, well, look, we want to go to the football, so how do we make it happen? They're like, well, we'll just make it happen ourselves. And it's um, it's super cool. It's great how they've managed to do it. So hopefully other clubs will start taking the lead from that. And again, like in a culture like Indonesia, which in terms of its football culture is pretty young, um, it's, it's nice to see something like that being challenged and hopefully uh, moving on and taking inspiration sort of, you know, across the... Uh, Across the world, I think would be quite nice. And of course, Mr. Maggio as well, if you're not following Sai. Again, do yourself a favour. Follow Sai Maggio. We've had lovely people in tonight. Really nice people. I know we only get nice people, really. You know, the um, in terms of, of, of creators who come in here. And, you know, we've had we've had Dupe in. We've, had, we've got Salty in. We've got Sai in now. We've had Pokes in. Like, what a, a cracking night. Cracking night of people hanging out here. And then there's rotters like Rich. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but you can't have everything, can you? Um, you know, there's got to be like the yin and the yang, I guess. So, uh, very respectable too. They have an unofficial policy of safe chance. Yeah, I keep forgetting about that bit. They've also they've got this this thing where they sort of say, look, we don't want any negative chanting against the team. So all of the chants have to be positive, which is brilliant. <laughs> like, so you're not as good as we were expecting you to be but you're still doing fine like those sorts of chants like great <laughs> you've played really well before you're doing okay that's what you want no like sort of boo you know fantastic what happened to oxford we gave up on the tory dream so we we went look i've been here four years i was starting to like consider getting a second surname and I was like I need to get out of here to be honest uh, plus I had a slight little issue where I uh, failed FFP <laughs> so now we're then um, we then ended up with a transfer embargo in, in January and it was like oh, that's the moment we were going to try and, and make sure we definitely finished in the playoffs and we started to slide down and then we got knocked out of the pizza cup and I was like see you later losers <laughs> off to East Vife um, and we thought they were going to get relegated to League Two in Scotland, and that was going to be great fun. That we could just like go all the way back through, uh, but then they won the last five games in a row and finished sixth. So we've started, started, literally starting the league right now. Um, we've done our sort of um, S. Well, it's not the SPFL Cup; it's the um, it's the, yeah, the the Premier Sports Cup. So there's a group stage there, which we've come through that. We've beaten Granit Moore, and we've beaten Ross County, beaten Peterhead. We drew a Montrose, but then we lost on penalties, unfortunately. Uh, but now the league the league kicks off uh, in three days' time. Montrose, Forfar, and Clyde. We are not going for East Five, Four, Four, Far, Five. We're not going for that so early in the stream. Please, can't have it. Mustard and Black, new to FM, it seems that basically everyone in the community is positive. Not everybody. Um, I think it's because the game itself provides the negativity by beating us all down. We come together for support. You know what? I I used to be in a, in a, in a podcast. I used to have a podcast called Football Manager Therapy. Right? Now, it was named that because for us, at the start of the pandemic, uh, it was we were using Football Manager as that way of, of coping with what went on. I've been playing this game for like, 
God knows how many years. Like I played the whole lot from '92. I've played games before that as well, so I'm a, I'm a proper lifer when it comes to FM. Uh, it, it, it is escapism. It's 100 percent escapism from whatever you have going on in the world. Whether it's just like crap day at work, whether it's like trouble, with, you know, stress with the family or whatever, or you just want a little bit of like, you know, what real football shit. Let's put FM on. Let's sort of play in this this different universe um, where things are nice, you know, and there's not sports washing, um, you know, and and players doing horrible things. So you can you can do that, and that's fantastic. Love all that sort of stuff. Um, but where we are now is, of course, um, yeah, people are positive. I think overall, but there is still some people who who, who whinge on a little bit and. I guess you get that with everywhere, to be honest. So, but yeah, the majority of us are positive. Um, and and I over here in, in our stream, I'm a bit more positive because I'm like, look, it's just a video game. Like, I'm 43. I'm not going to get stressed about whether I lose a video game or not. I always I always say there's there's two ways to stream. You can either be successful and win, right, or you can be entertaining. Guess which one I like to go for. It's not win, by the way, just in case anyone's wondering. I'm just going to put that right out there now. Don't win a lot. <coughs> Why don't we buy clubs in the Gulf and give the players rainbow kits? Because there's, there's no money. <laughs> you, can't, you can't afford to, to buy it. Oh, why don't we just fuck all that off and let them do their own little thing out the way? You know, stop it. stop all the horrible investment coming in. But no, we can't because that's obviously what drives interest. That's capitalism for everyone. So there you go. And that's why we've left Oxford. Um, Agalots, welcome in. Appreciate you in there. Uh, Palace just found the tactic for Bolton. Nice. What an actual tactic for Bolton or, or what the tactic they're currently using. So that's... Or is, or are you currently managing Bolton? Sorry, I keep forgetting, to be honest. Um didn't happen once the guy waited years for it what the result for, for us to win i did happen once I, good point good point uh you found the perfect bolton tactic excellent what how have you how have you managed that then palace some leagues have specific rules in place to block foreign owners they do but unfortunately the problem is is that those leagues tend to be and i hate to say it those leagues tend to be leagues that do not attract billions and billions of pounds worth of investment sadly um scandinavia look after things germany look after things to a point you've still obviously got got, got by munich um you know who are way out in front but you know the problem is is the premier league is just this fucking awful bear moth that uh that just exists and you know, as such, people want to be part of it, unfortunately, and it just means that everyone who doesn't want to be part of it is sort of pushed to one side, which is which is fine. You know, I'm more than happy to be pushed to one one side of it. I don't really have any interest in it whatsoever when it comes to the, to the Premier League anymore. So, um, Championship, big fan of that. Germany's got Red Bull, Bayern's an old football club. They are, but then but then they've got a lot of money as well. So even though they're only fifty to fifty one, they still have that muscle of like, oh hey, Bayern Munich want you, like, and then all of a sudden they'll just take all the big players, um, which you know it, it kind of comes with being a football team to be honest. They've been successful, so they've they've sort of, in a sense, earned that right, I suppose. So I'm trying to pick my my wording very carefully with uh, with things like that. Um, but, you know, it's not like it's, you can't say it's uncompetitive because, again, they've won, like, ten titles in a row. So, again, it's another another one of those, like, I'm not saying farmers' leagues, but I'm saying it's like it's not, like, I think they would like Bayern's dominance to be toppled at some point. Um, they are self-funded, but they do also have massive deals with, like, Mercedes-Benz, I think, so, and Allianz, so it's not massive, it's not, uh, entirely self-funded I don't think um, clubs like Leipzig and Wolfsburg they don't comply with the 50 and 50 plus one but see again this is the thing that there's always going to be some teams who are going to try and exploit the rules and and, and and get around it now it's not necessarily always works it does eventually um, unfortunately you know, Sy Maggio is a Portsmouth fan he knows all about um, you know, owners coming in and trying to 
spend more than they've got and it do not quite work sadly um, you know dodgy owners don't tend to to last very long um, unless you're Newcastle fans apparently and Mike Ashley was there forever as the worst owner in the world no he wasn't um, again let's just move off from that bit to be honest uh, Bayern definitely doesn't have political support from the dominant part of Bavaria whatsoever not at all well again it's one of those in it um Mr. Maggio is walking and wise, but when it went really well, but they really happened. The guy who reads the results on BBC was so happy. The East five four four five five, yeah, it was. Um, it's great. It's a, it's a it's a fantastic sketch. If you don't get a chance to uh, to see it, definitely go definitely go and check out that. It's a cracking sketch. Uh, Inky's ears are burning. Of course, uh, yeah, we I've, I've roasted Inky enough for the uh, for the fact that Mike Ashley wasn't a bad owner. Um, I've, I'm, tell that to any Newcastle fan to be honest I completely agree I don't think they're a bad owner whatsoever because if he was a bad owner the club wouldn't exist they'd have been uh, you know dismantled and put into administration and you know whatever but for that bad to be put in a position where they could be sold to a whole bunch of murderers for a lot of money still well as a businessman personally um, even one club champ even Northern Pilgrim even Scott Chapman how are we all Hope you're all very well. We're having a great time back here. We're just chilling. We're in charge of East Fife in the Scottish League One tonight. Who would have, who would have thought that? We'd have all thought that, to be honest. Really, if we think about it. Probably makes sense, because it's just like, yeah, there'll be a point when Tony eventually ends up at Scottish League One, because that's what he does. Um, so this is the first, the first uh, match of our league season. So according to the... Uh, the league preview because of obviously where we've sort of like changed some players we brought some players in uh, we've only got one stand one club champ we're literally you're the one club champ we're the one we're the one stand team in real life balls at the top McBride picks it out where's the derby with West Fife uh, it's Wraith Rovers are the, are the big derby Mr Maggio uh, see you later Palace take it easy buddy um let us know about that uh, that Bolton tac uh, that Bolton tactic as well. By the way, if you uh, if you happen to have it, pop it in the Discord. See what you got there. There's Patriots. See Patriots is in there. He's a Newcastle fan. He knows what's going on. And again, we're not we we don't do we don't do it personally. Do it Patriots. That's the thing. Spencer pings it over the top there. Man's off to bed. Streams excellent as always, apart from the Newcastle bashing, obviously. Up the Fifers. I appreciate the bits, Patriot. Very kind indeed. Um, very, very kind. Thank you for that. Um, but yeah, come and hang out in the Discord if you're not already doing so. Um, also, as well, as I say, join the Football Manager Show. Um, get that in your downloads. I can't even type. There you go. Football Manager Show podcast out every Wednesday. Hang on, today's Wednesday. That's right. Brand new episode today. We're um, looking at the art of set pieces with uh, Jack Joyce from Sports Interactive. Hello, Jebaru. How are you, pal? Welcome. Welcome back to East Fife. How many trophies have we won, asks Chapman. We have got a... Uh, we're on eight so far. So it's doing all right. Eight out of 11. Well, this is 11 seasons. Now, so eight out of 10, technically, seasons. Webster, McBride, that'll do. 1-0. Here we go. First goal of the league campaign. Doing all right. We're doing well. We're doing very, very well indeed in the grand scheme of stuff. We've got four trophies to compete for this season. We've qualified for the next stage of the Premier Sports Cup. Obviously, we've got the league as well, of course. Um, yeah, just if we can get a couple ticked off here, that'd be great. A couple next season would be great. Even one, do you know what I mean? Even one would be fine. East Fife's turned into a great move. Like, you know what? We did a squad builder yesterday. And we tried to get used to all the players and stuff and do our targets. And the Scottish striker into McBride, 2-0. Um, we're now predicted to finish second Pilgrim. They they finished sixth last season. We took the job on when we were when they were bottom of the league. Um, we didn't start till till the summer, so we we're like, yeah, we'll take them. We expect them to get relegated to League Two. Um, but they, they rallied around, won five on the bounce towards the back end of the season move themselves up to six we've taken up we've taken charge now two and a little as you can see we're currently sat there with air uh, who got relegated into this division so 
that's where we are. It's not a bad start to the season. We'll we'll look at this so far. China's on the yellow card. We can play trialists as well, which is pretty impressive. We can play trialists, which is quite nice. Uh, we we re-signed Bailey Kadamari, which again is fantastic. Great effort there from Logan Chalmers. Chief Superintendent Logan Chalmers with a hell of a free kick there. I'm tempted to bring the sky striker off and put Bailey on. Let him have a little run out. See how he does. So 2-1, last couple of minutes. Webster, bear in mind we have conceded there's two goals before Carol Beath and Kelty for five derbies as well. Ooh, we've got a couple actually this year then. Nice. Okay, looking forward to this. Punched away by Amor. McCafferty gets it out to Bailey. Colton, there you go. Just keep the ball as we can. Keep it. Don't do anything silly with it. Where's our cautious? Don't know if we've really got to sort of defensively like lock the tactic down at the minute. We'll have to make one. Calamari, McBride, there we go. All the way back. Just slow the ball now, boys. Nothing silly. Oh, Calamari rolls him. Three points. That's what we need. First match of the season. Massive win. Massive win. Right. Just leave now. We've got a great start. McBride's taking a knock. He's out for two days. So we're going to have to look at, obviously... Replacing him already. Ross Sinclair. We're not bringing Ross Sinclair in. Obviously, we need a right back now. That's the problem. We reluctance to play in a direct manner. Did we agree to play in a direct manner? Or League of Wraith in? The division above. Division above, actually. Um, that's the first league match of of, uh, of our East Fife campaign, Si. Yeah. We obviously we've done this so far, so we, we've already played in these Premier Sports games so far. So to be honest, we're unbeaten. It, like that says a defeat, but it was a defeat on penalties. So it was one all after ninety minutes. So we're unbeaten so far. Yeah, Raspberry still can't. We we can't afford Raspberry. Unfortunately, are like we have to. We have to sign him. Like he, his wages alone. Okay, we've we've already done this. We can't get his, his seventeen hundred pound wages. Okay, and we're not paying fourteen grand a month for him. Like, I'll leave that bit in and pay there, but unless we can get him, then we're not gonna we're not gonna get him. Ask the club to sign him. I don't think they're that bothered. <laughs> if we get to the championship, I think we can get him. And I think if they get to the to the SPFL, then we can definitely get him. Uh, the Premier Sports Club is kind of like the Carabao Cup, but then there's a group stage before it, apparently, Si. So it's a it's not a bad start, to be honest. Um, what do you reckon this lad, by the way? Joby, Job Graves. Oh, don't get me wrong, Si. I'm good as well. I want Raspberry at East Fife at some point. I want an East Fife jersey with Raspberry on the back. I want an Oxford jersey with Raspberry on the back. Although part of me thinks maybe just get an Oxford jersey with Raspberry on the back. Then at least I've got something... Um, you know, he looks he looks all right, doesn't he? Six two. Championship level player potentially in the future. Um competitive streak. Doesn't particularly like crossing, which is fine, he's a bit forward. Poor intelligence on the football pitch. That's not great. And then what about this guy? Because it's so between these two players, really. Now, his finishing doesn't look as good, obviously. Um, the Fife jersey should have Scott on the back, yeah. <laughs> it should do, shouldn't it? And then just no number. Just no number. Gone. Um, he won 600 quid. Now, he looks brilliant. He looks brilliant. His work rate's really, really low, though, for 600 quid. Everything else is good, though. 
he needs he needs to up that. What is he? Well, that's a good question. He thinks he thinks he's a midfielder. I think he's a forward. I think he's a forward. I don't think he's got the work rate to play midfield at all. Like he's just not going to do anything. The fact that he rounds the goalkeeper, I guess, is kind of a forwards trait. Tries to play his way out of trouble. That's a midfielder's trait. Maybe I would say I would say he's more of a forward, but. Composure 13, off the ball 13, decision making 14, balance and agility. They're kind of strikers traits, but six for finishing, it's not ideal. But remember, remember, Soup only had six for finishing and he scored goals. Pressing forward possibly, that's the thing, runs in the channels. He might not necessarily have the pace, but he's fit, he's got decent stamina. Good decision making. He might be able to be a second striker, but again, I'm worried though. That's a lot of money for for maybe not getting goals. You know, physicals and mentals are very good. Goodmanson's maybe not what we what we thought. Um, McCrory again, he looks fine, but that acceleration is not great. Jumping reach is good. And this level of physicals are key. That's a fair point, actually, Jens. That's a fair point. Yeah, I just get players just to rough each other up. Nathan Gray is wanted by Glenn Torren. Seven pace for a centre-half is meh. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Stephen McLeod, not good enough either. Just need to... Hopefully, get these. Uh, I think that. I mean that. That's better, isn't it? That's better. Crossing and dribbling is not very good, though. Acceleration, determination, leadership, teamwork, positioning, tackling. They're probably fine, aren't they? I have to pay for them as well. Twenty-nine grand. Is that, his, is that his release clause, is it? Yeah. Okay. 29 grand it is then. David Duncan, if that is in fact your real name, which I have no reason to believe it isn't. To be honest, you've given me no indication to say that's not your real name. Sometimes you've just got to believe what people tell you. Wallace Duffy, 33. Jamie Munro. Michael Canning. Maybe we can just buy as a right back. I love this. Players from like Largs, Edinburgh Uni. So I'm coming for a trial because we don't really know much about you. Duncan and uh, the Scottish striker might start a decent partnership. Possibly. Possibly. Six foot six, seventeen. I think we are starting to. What's he want? 900 quid a week? Surely not. I mean, I guess this this also tells us the level that we're at, where these players are like, they all want to be star players. It's like they're coming into like League One. 900 quid, you've got to have a laugh, Duncan. You can have 450, and that's it. Right? 900 quid a week on a right back. Don't be so silly. Plus a 35% promotion rise. No. 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 I mean, it would be good, but no. 
we can't afford that. We can't afford that. Nobody pays 900 quid for a fullback. I'm not saying that we shouldn't pay 900 quid for a fullback. I'm just saying that you can't have... He, he's not going to be your best player by that... By that much. Do you know what I mean? Like it's just not it's just not possible. Recruitment focus, let's change that a bit. Um, create a new focus, right back. Top priority. And then add another one for what, like a pressing forward maybe? Possibly. Greedy player. Exactly, a boop. Exactly. But this is this is footballers, isn't it? You know, they're 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 self-entitled these days, so they just go, well, you know, it's fine. I'll just I'll just ask for all this. It's not a problem. I mean, Grimmer's kind of got a bit of everything, hasn't he? He can play all over this all over the place. Like, is he worth is he worth a little bid just as a sort of utility player, really? Is he going to give me an option? At least I can play him at right back, I suppose. Concentration's good. Bravery's good. Jumping reach is good. Good stamina. Good strength. Positioning's good. Marking and tackling are decent. Granted, he might not win the headers, but... He's a fringe player as well. Versatile. Lack of composure. Excellent. Temperamental, that's what we want. Media description, defensive midfielder. <laughs> fullback, I think you'll find. I think you'll find fullback. Let's have a little look there, old Grimmer. See what he reckons. <coughs> 290 season tickets. It's fine. Absolutely fine. If I actually, where was the other? There was another player we looked at, wasn't it? Amaru. We could actually look at getting him in. See, that he only wants 500 quid. And he's a, he's a much better player. Physically, anyway. Mentally, he's decent. 6-5, can play both sides. Work rate's not brilliant. Marking, positioning, tackling, jumping reach. Again, pretty handy. 25. Former Arsenal. League 1, so he should be a decent standard for this. For this league right here. I mean, even if I pay 700 quid, I, I still think that's a lot for Raspberry. I'm not convinced that's money well spent at this point. I have to start looking at how we uh, how we sort of like arrange our training as well for the players who don't have jobs. Ten grand plus some instalments. So what does that take it up to? Twenty. Yeah, why not? 20 grand, go on. We've got the money. Probably about right for raspberry and this fruit shortage and inflation. Exactly, that's the thing. That's what's driving it up, Maggio. Been told apparently there's bad weather, so we can't get raspberries in. But I don't think it's bad weather's fault. I think it's more than I think. It, I think it's something else's fault, you know? I'm not going to be the one that's going to say it, but we all know. We all know. <laughs> George Thompson, Kelty Hearts. Could jump in. Wants a new contract, does he? 22, 6 foot 2. Plays no through balls. Doesn't dive into tackles. Marking and tackling. Not brilliant. It's an interesting one. Ross Jack Hoban. Uh, 
Tony Ross we've thought about, didn't we? Didn't do anything about it. Glenn Torren still haven't come in for him. So, Fruit Union's transfer dilemma. I need help with I need help before responding to an offer. I've butchered that. I'm sorry, Epic Mandrip. You need help. Look at that. 375 quid for David Duncan. He clearly didn't want to come. He had an option. He had an option on the table from Granite Morton. Let's be honest. He wasn't going to come to us. So, he was like, right. Lots of money, please. I've seen people complain about that. on uh, Not necessarily on stream, but I've seen that. People complain about that during the... Uh, in the uh, in the community. Being like, oh, this player wants like 900 quid and he's signed for someone else for 300 quid. It's like, because he doesn't want to play for you. That's why. Like, he's, he's basically saying, I'd rather not come. And the only way I will come is if you give me silly wages. Like, oh, that's not realistic. I was like, it's it's a hundred percent realistic. That's what players do, right? You know. Ooh, they're not three seventy five. I mean, that makes him the, one of the top earners as well. I don't know. That's what she said. <laughs> You use the emote, Jabiru. Come on, you've got to do that. There you go. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. We, we balls this up as well. I don't know what I've done here, but something's gone wrong. I can't withdraw an offer and I can't add an offer. So I think we have to wait for his contract to expire, which is a shame because he looks, he looks fairly decent. Um, Rich Woods, obviously, we tried to get him in last time. Jim McDonald is a centre back. Can he come back in yet? Are they going to let him come? No, they're not bothered. Do they have a right back? Brendan Stewart, He's only 5 3. Should we give him a go? I mean, he looks. He looks fine, doesn't he? We've got a link up with Dundee, so I guess in that sense we should probably be using them, use our contacts. Five foot three with a jump and reach of two. Oh yeah, I mean yeah, we're not going to put them as the uh, as the as, as the the near post corner guy, but I mean the rest of his attributes look fairly handy. You know, marking's good, tackling's good, teamwork, positioning, work rate. Determination, bravery. He's kind of all right, really. And he's not going to cost us anything. If he's crap, we just send him back, presumably. I'm guessing, right? Or just don't play him. Then they'll, and then the club themselves will just recall him. So that's sort of what I'm thinking. Or we pay 500 quid and we get a Remy win. Who, the more I'm looking at, the more I'm thinking, is he? What do you think? He's fine enough, any he? Height's waste on a fullback. It can be. I mean, look at Roberto Carlos. You know what I mean? Look at Roberto Carlos. The jumping reach is good there, though, but that's only because it's like, it's 500, it's 500 quid. That'll make him the top earner at the club. I'm going to hang. I like I like a Remy, but I don't know if I like him for 500 quid. Like... Can can I justify him being my my top earner? You know, he's got really good. He's got really good mentals. I'll give him that. He's got really really good mentals. What I would have to do as well is he'd have to be he'd have to be first choice, which I guess is fine because we don't have another right back. So, um, so there is that, right? Um, let's go with it for now. He can be the top earner for now. We've got we've got the money. That's what we got. You know, we got to think that we've got the money, so it's not a problem. 
Uh, I guess essentially what we're doing is we're moving the team to the next level, aren't we? So we do have to start spending a little bit more. There's going to be some money that's that's not spent. It's there. Spend it before it gets taken away, I guess. Kieran Campbell kind of gives us another little option. Maybe? Do we think? We haven't really got a player who can play in the hole, I don't think. That's what she said. Um, long shots of 12 off the ball of 14. Comes deep to get to the ball. Passing technique. Vision. Twenty four. He's not a bad option as well, is he? Dorian McKinnon. Fifteen for acceleration. Dribbling nine. I'm just thinking if we sort of have to move. Um. What's he called? Our. Our left midfielder back a bit. Back to left back. He wants to play with a stronger squad. Are we that stronger squad? Spencer, that's the guy. Shortlisting for now. Michael McLennan. George Thompson. Bad luck at him already, haven't we? Nothing's really jumping out there for that one. Nathan Gray is the other option. Anything jumping out with Nathan Gray? Or is he... I guess compared to a Remo, there's nothing. There's nothing there, is it? Okay, he doesn't bother dribbling, just knocks it past them and goes like, see ya. Bye, lads. I'm trying not to get caught up into the whole... Um, only getting players with potential because again kind of as we said before we are yeah, we're we're part timers like those players might not make their potential like they might not get anywhere near it um we might end up missing them by by quite a bit um this job graves is still giving me an option Is he a porter? I don't think he's a porter. Twelve off the ball. Twelve teamwork. Decisions are only six though. Dribbling of fourteen. That's more of a deep lying forward, isn't it? Or like a pressing forward, possibly. Is Amaru tolling your centre backs? I think so. I think he's certainly as big as you can possibly imagine. Where's our centre backs? Our centre backs are Jordan O'Neill, who's yeah, he's six foot, so he's taller than him, and he's taller than uh, who else is a centre back? Connor Allen, who's six foot. Yeah, so he's actually <laughs> he's the tallest guy. Colton's a left back, who's five ten. So yeah, he'd be taller than everyone in the back in the back line. Um, and even taller than the goalkeeper. Getting front posts. Mm -hmm. They're just getting to smash the ball in constantly. Your right back has scored 64 goals this season. Yep. Yeah, he did. And at that point, he justifies 500 quid, doesn't he? And you know what? Even if we get Stuart in, we can move a Remo to left back. So we have six foot five on one side, five foot three on the other. <laughs> Ange Postacoglu has gone to AC Milan. 
four far of the underdogs in the uh, in the match against East Fife. That's fine. Let those two players move off. Oh, let's put Grimmer in as well. He's an extra bit of extra bit of cover, and it's a right back who can play today. <coughs> So, twenty grand on a on a defender. Well, actually, twenty grand on a um, on a utility player. Really, needs to start well to win the fans or having come from Cowden Beath. I mean, look, he plays everywhere we need him to play. So that'll win them. That'll help win them over. You know, let's let's ignore the whole Cowden Beath thing, right? Fans, football fans are too parochial, right? Let's just focus on the fact that he's a good player. Right? Not the fact that, he, oh, he used to play for a rival. Like, pathetic. Get over it. He looks decent. <laughs> Shea Smeaton. What a name. What a haircut. What a look. Ryan Manson. Right, let's see what we can get up with then, shall we? So four for first, then Clyde, then Kilmarnock in the uh, in the second round of the Premier Sports Cup. Borden fans are both expecting a draw. That's fine. Dunfermline one Graves. Let's go in for Graves then, shall we? Fringe player. Oh, 900 quid. No, thank you. Plus Dunfermline. Dunfermline League 2. There's no way they're going to pay that price. No chance. Is that because we've gone fringe? And he's, he's decided, all right, I don't want that. That seems a mad, mad figure to go out straight with. Who's he spoken to that said, oh, you know what he should do? He should ask for, for 900 quid. What on earth's gone on there? I might be able to sit around for nothing and do 900 quid, yeah. that's And that's the thing. Uh, he would be sitting around for 900 quid doing not much. He'd get 45 minutes work a week. But, I mean, he needs a bit of perspective, surely. We're not going to give him 900 quid for that. Four for having one in five, which, let's be honest, we know what tends to happen at this point. We've lost one in five. We're, of course, now a tartan home kits. Four for in there. Uh, navy blue and sky blue shirts. Spencer intercepting. Armour out to O'Neill. Grimmer making his debut there right back. Can play anywhere, so Starmer we'll right back for now. Grimmer, Webster, Grimmer. Walls. Still haven't bought wide play yet. Walls with an effort. It feels weird playing in a stadium with four stands obviously Oxford only had three East Fife have got one it's down by the river as well so if we kick the ball really hard it goes in the river never going to get it back better sign three ball boys in the summer Webster decent cross in oh there we go Spencer getting his head on it Nice little knockdown. Donald over the top. Spencer picks it up. Has a look with Bride. That's a waste. That's a waste. I should say, win your home games. Get, um, get something in your away games. 
Holton out of the way, Webster. Digs it out of his feet, just over the top, four ball boys in a lifeboat. I've seen that film on the internet. It's horrific. I thought it was an art house film. Yeah, a bit of encouragement on them. They're playing pretty well so far, so it's not much I want to change so far. Six shots, one on target. 59% possession. Ball's moving around nicely. We're going down that right-hand side. So Grimmer's getting himself involved. There he goes again. Straight in, Webster picks the ball up. Great ball through for the Scottish striker. Who has a goal? Held by McFarlane. Okay, we're happy so far. Current shooting, there may be some wet ball boys today. Well, th thankfully, we're playing away, but you know, um, I don't know what they're getting up to. They might be wet anyway. You never know. You never know. Balls O'Neill Grimmer. Back inside Webster. Lovely little ball through. Scottish striker. Yes! What a finish that is. Is that a striker I see before me? What a finish. Agreed, Yaron. I agree, Franco. I agree, Webster's playing really well. And I wasn't convinced. But my initial viewpoint of looking at him, I was like, oh, I don't really know. And I was like, how is he the captain? But you're right, he's doing what he needs to do. He's using his pace, he's using his vision, he's creating chances. And that's what you can ask, really, isn't it? And it's then up to the strikers to, to put those chances away. As as um, as Epic, Epic Man's saying, Grimmer's having a decent debut as well, isn't he? But let's not speak too soon. I like Yaron's idea of putting Bailey on on 60 minutes. Webster, great effort. Great save by the keeper. Looking handy. Corner in from Wells. Back out. Webster's going to get ahead on it. McDonald. McBride. Nice. Penalty. Here we go. McBride dusts himself down. He's going for it. Nice. Really smart penalty. Just rolls it in the corner. Just like, yeah, fine. Respect the hawk. <laughs> Just taps it into the into the into the goal. It's like, ah, it's fine. We're all right. It might get barely warmed up now. Oh, it's gone in somehow. Defender gets his uh, gets his foot on it. Long ridge. He's allowed to travel. That's a shame, isn't it? These sorts of things happen. Right. But bride for Bailey then. Okay. Five four is still on. It is undeserved, but that's that's what that's what we learn, you know what I mean? That's that's how it needs to be. We've tracked him back all the way, which is which is the important thing. Like we've done that, that's the interesting bit. Uh, we've made sure we've done that. Then, unfortunately, he's just stuck his leg out. He's had to do something. If he doesn't do something, then it's a goal. So uh, the fact that he's tried to do something is 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 um, is good. Colton Spencer gets it up front. Oh, cleared. Good save. 
He's got McCafferty on at left back actually give Coulson a bit of a, a bit of time off. Beth Walls. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what about this for a clearance? Walls tries to clear it. Watch this. Watch. <laughs> I mean, that's just, you know, it happens. It happens. Right? You know, it's one of those things, isn't it? You know, it, it's not always going to work. Let's see if we've got anything on the uh, on the bench that we can bring on. Derek Mackay, possibly. Oh, is, it, is it already playing? Why is it already playing? Um, Dean, Edney. Edney for Brogan, let's do that. Uh, yeah, go on, yeah. To be fair, I mean, look, you know, like a one, a point's fine, but I guess when you've been 2 0 up, it's disappointing to then have a 2 2. But it's one of those, isn't it? Hello, JX Lowe's, welcome in. Welcome in, buddy. Nice to see you. Yeah, that's one of those, you know. We'll learn, we'll learn in this division. There's going to be moments like that where we have a little bit of sort of wildness. It's the beauty of playing down in these leagues, isn't it? Kanamari out for six days, already picking himself up, getting an injury. Like, come on, mate. We're in League One in Scotland. Uh, at this point, Lobes. So we are, um, as part of our British Steel Challenge, we've got to try and win everything we can in England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland. So we've left England, left League One in England, um, and then we've gone down to League One in Scotland, which, to be honest, should be, should be pretty decent. Uh, looks like a step too far for Bailey. Maybe, yeah. Uh, but the thing is, is that he's we've got... We've got quite a bit of options for him. Like, he's, he's come in as a backup, so we don't need him to be scoring every single game. We need him to get a couple of goals when he comes on. That'd be great. Haremu's turned us down. That's a concern. But, Brandon Stewart's coming in. Sebastien, bonsoir. So I like the look of this guy actually. Full back on attack as well. Get him getting up front. Let's get him in. Is Scotland on earth? I can't see it. It is. Scotland is a place on earth. Um, it's the Belinda Carlisle remix. So. He's been out of the game and he fitness and sometimes he get goals. He will. He will. He's not been out of the game that long though. Barton, like let's let's not forget he did play in Ireland last season. He played a lot of football in Ireland actually as well, as well mainly as a sub. Which again, I think we've got to kind of cons consider. He was a sub for a bit, more substitute appearances than first team appearances. But he's fine. He's he's got goals in those boots. You know what I mean? Like he'll 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 be fine. He'll be fine. Raspberry feels forever. I I'm. Raspberry is my guy as well, so don't worry. I'm, I'm with you on this one. I'm with you. I want it to be. I want Raspberry back. One day, one day we'll be reunited. We'll get him wearing the uh, the East Fife tartan. We can get him to the Kingdom of Fife. It'll be great. Malin, we know nothing about him. 17 year old goalkeeper, don't know. V 
Have you got another injury already? Surely not. No, I was going to say, have we got an injury? Um, right. Grimmer played very well at right back. I presume he keeps his spot for now, doesn't he? Because there's no need to change him, essentially. Uh, Kadamari's injured. Excellent. So he comes off. So we've now got no striker on the bench. Brilliant. Do we sign a physio? Not yet. Not yet. We still need a physio. Uh, we've got a club doctor. So that's that's something. But yeah, we haven't got a physio yet. We haven't got a striker. Job Graves thinks he wants 900 quid. Like, I need to talk to you about that, Job Graves. Still not sure about it, okay. Fine, Jack Griffith. Now he realises he's in Enganch. There you go. Now he knows. He's like, I'm an Enganch, aren't I? Yes, you are. Yes, you are, Jack. Thing is, I don't know if anybody... If anybody has an Enganch. You know, that's the problem. Don't forget you can play a trialist. I know, yeah, oh yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. That is well remembered, actually. Could put them on, can't we? Hmm. Interesting thought. Um, right, let's do that. So that's our defensive. Two seconds. That's I guess that's our current East Fife tactic, isn't it? Play a talented trialist all season without ever paying a penny. No, you need to um <coughs> they think they can only play three games, I think. Up to shall we? So the question is then: Do we do we rest Webster for this match, get him back for the Kilmarnock game? I mean, are we going to beat Kilmarnock in the cup? It's the joy of the cup, isn't it? You never know. You never know. How many rounds is there? Then it's the quarters, the semis and the finals. Actually, you know, we need to throw them out. We need to get them out of here, don't we? Grant and Celtic and Rangers are still in it. Like, <laughs> we're unlikely to win, but I'll tell you what, let's put, let's start Webster on the bench. Give Webster like 45 minutes to come on if he needs to. So we're away to Clyde. So if we put this Aaron Brown, for example, put him on instead of Webster. And then we can look at I mean, Spencer, they say, it looks like, they're saying Spencer's a winger on support. We've got him as a winger on attack, so that's maybe... Surely he can get forward as well. Um, and Graves for McBride. Try that, possibly. O'Neill's a bit tired. Grimmer at centre back. We could try. Let's go with that. Oh no, well the two players on trial. 
How about that? There you go. Okay. Actually, maybe I should have played. I should have played a. Uh, should play a different forward. Actually, should have played the Welsh lad rather than uh, the Graves who wants too much money. In fact, they both want too much money. To be honest. So Donald McDonald's got the captain's arm, man. We'll see how these uh, little changes affect us. If at all. Nice ball down. Colton inside. Nice ball headed away. McDonald picks it up. Allen. Walls with an effort over the top. It's never really doing much there, is it? He's not scored from there. Balls with Ding cleared away. Brown is absolutely convinced he can't play right wing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's he's convinced. That he, but then again, we could move him higher. We could move him there. He'd be fine. Move into like a four-two-four. But that means that Spence has got to go there on a on a support duty. I think as well. Nice knockdown. Brown looks around for it. Scottish strikers through. Where's the tackle? Without wanting to sort of put any jinxes on it, Grimmer's looking very composed, isn't he? Some people just need a manager to tell them they can play where they're told. Yeah, exactly. You play in there. Shut up. Don't make me come over there. Grimmer. Walls, McDonald, Walls. Don't do what you did last time, Walls, and clear the ball off the defender. No, a bit of a bit of accidents do happen, don't they? A decent ball, knocked through. Not contested. Oof. McDonald goes and he loses his neck there. Okay, reasonable football so far. Again, shots shots are plenty. Brown. Drimmer's holding him up. Oof, good save. That's what we've got to be careful of, the counter-attack. I think we have to work out this level. I'm guessing we've got to sort of time our presses and time our time when we push. Because if we are going to leave ourselves a little bit overexposed, we've not got athletes who can get back. We probably can't press for 90 minutes. So random, no name, great. After play 20 meters further down the line. Can't figure out what I'm supposed to do. Join the club. Join the club. Let's put Brown there. Doing that. And we consider going, I don't even really want to go positive because we're getting the ball forward a lot. We're getting in the we're getting in the right areas. All right, on Coulson's giving the ball away. Good double double defending there. Allen just about does enough to clear it. Heads away, Stewart's could get it. I think it's Clyde is still second bottom. And we're uh we're not really pushing much out just yet. Switch those around, see if we can get anything extra out of Beth playing this way. McBride's on the bench, we could make a change if needs be. Webster's on the bench, we could make a change if needs be. Grimmer dropping a solid 7-3 in a different position. Yeah, he's just... 
he seems to be a decent player, doesn't he? He does seem to be a decent player. Thinking maybe we bring the Scottish striker off. Replace him with McBride. Spencer might need a little bit of a bit of time as well. See what? Let's put Spencer there. Let's put my bride on. Um, six, seven. Let's turn you into a poacher now. Jordan O'Neill, maybe you can come on and do that. Actually, Cafferty. All right, do it that way. Three, three subs. Hello, Scoops. How are you, pal? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Pleasure to see you. Hope I've treated you well, pal. What's happening in your world? Life all good? On the Clyde. Hey, second bottom. We need to... East Fife who's trying to clear it. Oh, right. Out you go, Scoops. Out you go. What's happened there? Nonsense. Second shot they've had. Second shot they've had all 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 game, I think. He was done half well there. Ah, don't worry. Don't worry about it. It's one of those things, isn't it? We're uh, we're learning League One Scottish football very, very quickly. It's uh it's a cruel mistress. Cruel mistress. To be fair, Keeper makes the first save. After that, it's just it's because we don't have players on the on the goal on the on the post anymore. So because everyone lines across the six yard box, we're trying to pack that instead. When the when something like that happens, you you are left a little bit exposed, and there's not really anything that's that you can do. So it's just like, oh well, never mind. It happened. Deal with it. Away we go. Graves Brown. Pulls it back. Brown's got a knock. Can we make one more sub? Yes, we can. Right, Webster's coming on. I know defence is tired, but need pace up front. Try and get something out of the corner. How many subs can we make? Can we make five? We can. Right. Nine minutes to go. Um... I'm tempted to, <laughs> to Grimmer's that good he's playing all over the place I shall keep him at centre half put McCafferty out there until you get in the premiership and get thrashed by Celtic yeah I mean look, we're all, we're all every year everyone's going to get hammered by Celtic and Rangers sadly that's just the way it works and then eventually you're going to sort of fluke a result yourself I mean, it's a bit of a, it's a, at the minute, it's looking like a bit of a shit way to lose our first game. But it's very, it's very Scottish League One. We were 2 0 up in our, in our last match, somehow threw it away to 2 2. Um, just all a bit, a bit daft. But, a bit of a comical clearance as well, which hit our, hit one of our own players. And then they were like, oh yeah, we'll just we'll just smash that in from 20 odd yards. You're like, okay, great goal. Brilliant ball. The change hasn't even happened. We've got ourselves the goal. Graves with the ball. What a cross in. McBride, the substitute, comes on. Gets us the equaliser. I'll be honest, there's part of me thinking keep keep pushing on. Great finish. Stuart launches it. Launches it nowhere though. Come on, boys. Webster gets his head on it. That'll do. In the challenge where no one's there. Oh, what? Oh, 
Unbelievable. Everything's all fine. Everything's fine. Then what? <laughs> no idea. No idea what's going on there. Comical. Stuart. Penalty ref. Come on, handball, surely. Walls. You're offside, Webster, aren't you? <laughs> I mean, he's miles off. He's miles off. I knew the second the ball was, was blithered, I was like, why did I fall for it? I always fall for it. I'm just like, that's clearly miles off. And I'm just like, I'll have that. I'll support you after this game. <laughs> don't worry, Scoops, don't worry. Balls at the top. Graves. That's more like it. He wasn't even trying to get back on side. Just a fine. Um, I don't think that O'Neill is related to, to Scott O'Neill, sadly. Uh, no, we've done all five. Uh, Yaron. At this point, all five are on. We're still very attacking. I feel as if we need to dial that down now. Or do we? We've kind of got the momentum. Oof. Oh, Jesus. Get it away, boys. Balls up over. Hang on, here's Webster on the counter. Oh, <laughs> it's a corner. If we get three points here. What's Stuart doing trying to win a header? He's five foot three. Offside again. Respect the point, I think. I hope so. I'm hovering over the emote. Respect the point emote. We'll do it. Fucking hell. We made a meal of that, didn't we? We'll get there. We're still third. You know? That's fine, right? Rested a couple of players ahead of the big game against Kilmarnock. Some interesting moments there. Some very interesting moments. We'll see. See what we can learn from. Still got a couple of players we need to sign. Still got a couple of little tweaks we need to do. Um, but yeah. It's fine, there's another point. Now, Brendan Stewart's coming from, from Dundee, so just tell everyone he's great, which we're all uh, in full agreement of. And then I think what we're going to have to do is, I feel really bad, but we need to leave the Kilmarnock game. Rogie needs to see the Kilmarnock game, doesn't he? Like, that's that's the thing. That's like his, his, his role in this world is to see... Us versus Kilmarnock. We've not had, we've not done it before, so it'd be nice to to do that. So we'll come back on Friday. I think that's what we'll do. We'll do Friday. Um, appreciate everyone, of course, who's been in. Generally enjoyed it. It's been great as always. Um, had a cracking time. Let's go and hang out with who are we thinking? Who are we thinking? We haven't seen Lee Moore for a while. Let's go and do a. Let's go and do that. We've not done Lee Moore for a little while. Um, so. Go and give him some love. Obviously, you know the deal. Plenty of people in there. He's doing a network save, I think, at the minute. So, uh, yeah, go and do that. Go and do that. Right. Big love, everybody. Oh, wait, I haven't even clicked, uh, clicked on it. So, yeah. Right. Big love, everyone. Take care. See you on Friday. Up the five. See you in a bit. Bye, everyone.